the last I checked, you guys got just got the data core. You guys cleared out the loot room. The uh, ogrens helped you there. Uh, a couple of them died on, along the way. Neil Tyron, you're 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 dying. By the way, uh, Yomark, you need if you can do. Uh, Not just me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Toughness check, real quick. Another one. Jeez. Yeah. Since I wasn't in the last session, I would like I would also like to search the the loot pile, see if I find anything. Oh, all right, uh, search. Oh yeah, we get our fates back, right? <laughs> yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. You suffer six points of damage. Can our toughness Earth. reduce that any? Uh, let me see. Would toughness reduce poison damage? Like let's it let, does let, regular damage. Let's see if it does. If it does, that's that's gonna be helpful. Oh yeah, it would mean Tesseract. Uh, I think that's what toughness is supposed to do. Yeah. Our uh, Nildegrass Tyson would not have uh, suffered as much damage as he would have. True. My name is Neil yeah. Tyron, brother. No need to make such a <laughs> shameless reference to a real life celebrity. I, have, do I get I any remember? modifiers for searching the? The corp, the, the pile. Uh, no modifiers. I think the toxic trait. Let's see. Go look it up. Let's see, because toxic. Let me look it up. Oh boy. Looking up. You have plus 10 resist toxic quality and similar poison effects. You get that. Love your space marine. Uh, let's see. Where in the heck is my token? Okay, so the, the wording for toxin is no reduction from armor or toughness bonus. Okay. Yeah, I looked it up. Um, it's all the way down here. Yeah, because I remember specifically looking for that. I was like, what is toxin? And, like, why are they seem to be putting in all the tier nets? Oh, that's why, because it's fucking deadly. Man, poison, you don't want to mess around with that in this game. Right, and that's just the vanilla stuff would have been like it, it it hits you, it does its thing. This stuff, a little different. How much time do we have left? Enough to get out of here and send the signal. You have about uh, let's see, yeah, about 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 an hour and a half, one hour and thirty minutes. That's plenty. Just take a nap for an hour. <laughs> We can rest on the transport, brother. <laughs> right. Let us wait until we have this one in the bag. Go ahead, roll. Go ahead, roll a perception check, everyone. Plus, plus, plus twenty. Oh yeah, I gotta pull up my character. Is that in addition to our standard perception sure. or awareness? Oh, uh, awareness. Awareness is the skill. Awareness, awareness. My apologies. Yeah. Because it's not. I'm so used to D and D. My God, it's the plus forty, and I still fail. That's hilarious. Your guy does. <laughs> I did. I did plus twenty. And I still got uh, got a good roll. <laughs> Ooh, I rolled it. Oh boy. Oh my. A three. Eight degrees of success. Jeez. So <clears throat> that roaring you heard uh, earlier in this uh, in in the campaign, uh, you hear it very, like not super close, but close enough to oh, give you the heebie-jeebies. So a couple of clicks, no way. Uh, you'd have to discern that, but you definitely heard it. It was very audible. Even the ogre, like what? They're all they look scared, looking around, like what the heck was that? 
Wait, wait. We must find our way outside. Is there a roof to this place? Was the roof flat? Are you asking we're underground me? in a bunker. Well, we're in a refinery. Right. The only entry to the refinery were the bunker systems. But that doesn't mean there's not, like, a roof access. And I'm only asking, like, because if it's flat, we could just use that as our landing pad to get out. You're asking the Elgin if there's a landing pad or the guardsman or who you asking? Yeah, yeah I'm asking Guardsman. anyone here who's familiar with the finery who've been here. Oh, the commissar. Yeah, the commissar there... tells, tells you there's uh, there is a courtyard type area that the landing craft could melee, may land there. And it has uh, good defensible positions. That sounds like where we need to head now. We should also probably try and get the power back on to the defenses. Yes. Yeah. Can yes. I roll tech use for that? You guys going to go to the... You guys going to go try to get the power online? Well, it depends. How far away is that from the refinery? Are we putting ourselves at risk doing that? You can, you can ask anyone here that if they know where the how to reactivate that stuff is? Or what are you guys doing here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask... Uh, Possibly the Imperial Guardsmen, because they seem to be a little bit more coherent. Well, yeah, they're humans, so they're pretty smart. Uh, the Commissar tells you that there is indeed uh, a centralized bunker that would be able to reactivate the defenses, and that's by the only reason uh, the defenses are offline the way they are now. That or the, the world's power grid was destroyed, right? And the backups are destroyed. He says highly unlikely, so. Highly unlikely since the uh, they have been destroyed, or we don't know if they've been destroyed. It does, well, we'd all be dead if that was the case. Just nuclear reactor in the middle of a refinery, so. Okay. Ah. So not the world's power source, but the refinery's power source. Yeah, the, the grid. He says there's plenty of backups. He, he describes in detail all this stuff. I say we shouldn't play with fire. We've got two people who are half dead from poison, and, uh, like, we've... I mean, if it's on the way, we may as well try. But if it's not on the way, then we don't need to bother. Yeah, we because... We spend an hour trying to get it back up, but we should right. try to get it up as quickly as possible. I nod in agreement. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, he, he kind of point. He kind of tells you where where the uh, the the bunker is. He says it's on it's on the premises. There's on this refinery. It it wouldn't be out of the way, but uh, it wouldn't be along the way either. Hmm. So uh, there would be a small detour then. Yes. We have a prisoner. We have two badly injured brothers, and we. How much time do we have? Well, it's more of a question of how quickly would the transport get to us, and how much easier would it allow us to uh, hold out while waiting for the transport? We have like 10 minutes, according to the briefing. According to the brief, we should have an hour and a half left. No, no, I mean, once we pop the flare, how quickly yeah, yeah. will the transport get to us? That's a very good question. I remember, yeah, and it was like 10 minutes or something. Ten minutes yeah, is a long was... time to hold a position. Yeah, if we can, so, and if it's just a, guns. yeah, and if it's just a short detour to turn defensive systems on, I say we do it. Here's a question: How many do we care about uh, saving the lives of more guardsmen and Ogren, or are, is our work here done? I mean, our work here is done. Our work here was to get the one guy. Yeah. What's the data core and the one guy? Yeah, we got both. The Magus. Yeah, those two are, are the biggest of our concerns. But, you know, defensive systems. So if we save more lives, like, do we get... Cool. How do we... Is that, like, a secondary objective? Question, yeah. how big is the rescue ship? The Thunderbolt well, transport. It's a Thunderbolt gun transport. I mean, honestly, with everyone in this room, it mm. could probably fit all of us. Would it? Yeah, but they're, yeah. they have their own means of evac, right? No. No? Okay. No. Oh, this, this world is lost. All right, well, let's yeah, get the... Uh, they were sending uh, evac ships out from here. However, then a criminal group took over the refinery, so I'm pretty sure they stopped doing that. Also, there's a wave of death quickly approaching. They don't really have a way out. Right. Yes. 
Unless so it's perhaps, with us. So perhaps we take them on the transport with us and deliver them somewhere off-world. Precisely. Okay, I like that idea. I think that's what we should do. The defenses are not going to do much except maybe buy us a little bit more time. And that's... And that's if it buys us five minutes of time, it'll be worth it. Yeah, it's five okay. minutes less we have to fight waiting for the transport. All right. Why did God allow that to exist? <laughs> I'm just I, I'm just worried that if we go back to try and re-enable the defenses, we're most likely going to fail anyway, and then it'll be more wasted time than the two well, minutes all get closer to us. As the comes our student, it's not completely out of the way, but it's not on the way. It sounds like a short detour. We're already in the facility. It shouldn't take us that tremendously long to... What right. do the defense systems entail? Like, what will that activate precisely? So it's, it's entire network of, like, bunker systems and, like, mounted uh, uh, auto oh, there's, turrets. There's auto automatic turrets. defense turrets surrounding the area. Mm -hmm. And if we're fighting a Tyranid swarm, that's probably a good way to keep them at bay for a little while. Yep. Especially the bigger mm -hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the biggest things. concern is we're going to hit a swarm trying to get to the central bunk bunker. This place was um, working and operable until I think the bandits took it over. Well, we also don't know like what took out the power or why it's off. I, and I don't we think the ask. bandits. I don't think the bandits are stupid enough to bring it offline. Hmm. We can still ask, though. I mean, he shot a space marine with the last gun. That he, <laughs> he was. A yeah, that was pretty stupid of him. <laughs> I mean, yes, but what? Maybe Ogrins know something. Hey, are you asking them? May as well. Uh, they kind of tell. They kind of. They kind of him and Han. They kind of tell you a big floating skull thing. That was preventing them from going into the 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 power room or something like that. It said, "Don't know much other than that." Golden Top Hat Man was pretty mad, so told us to to blow some stuff up around it. <laughs> Do we run a, a Xenos check to see if we can skull. interpret what that means? It would probably be. He a said, "Big skull." He said, "Big skull." They so asked him yeah, the, the big skull. skull. They said, "No, they said it's puny skull." So a servo skull guard wouldn't let the bandits into the power room, they said. Yes. So basically, the bandits had him break some shit. Yep. So if they broke some shit, that means it's probably going to be pretty impossible to turn it back on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we have to roll for logic to figure out what these guys are trying to tell us because they're really dumb and they they make funny <laughs> funny talking noises. I mean, that kind of we could use, use the logic. <laughs> That's how they explain it. Flo giant little little floating skull was you know killing their brethren. They can't really get in, so they smash some stuff. Golden top hat man was pretty mad. <laughs> he ordered them to do it, but yeah. Is the Mangos uh, conscious, or is he unconscious? Uh, he's conscious. He's badly hurt. It seems like we're gonna use up more time than we save trying to get into the central command. We could spend at least 20 minutes trying to do that. Still have plenty of time left over. Mm -hmm. uh, we should ask... Hang on, hang on. Okay. We should ask Mangos if he knows how to repair the defense system or power grid and bring it back online. He's a biologist. Oh, I thought he was yes. a tech priest? He's a tech priest of the biologist chap or, uh, branch. Okay. So yeah. he wouldn't know jack shit about that. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's closer to doing what I do than what you do. Yeah. Yeah. So I have his tech skills, so I can try to help out as well. <clears throat> Turning, turning the uh, power systems back off, back on. All right, so what are we doing? Well, I think, think it's worth a look, so I think we should at least look, take a look at it. 
All right, let's do that. Because it's not completely out of the way. So let's head there and then uh, go and pop smoke. You got it. Onward to the power room, then. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Right. The... Let me make sure I got the the measure down. Oh, why didn't save some of my stuff sometimes? Oh, also don't forget we have we heard like a fucking big loud scream of a probably a half tyrant. So we should probably <laughs> hurry up still. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Let's see. And then we don't fuck with hive tyrants. You guys get there rel relatively easy. Um, nothing is uh, kind in your way. The 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 uh, Ogren did a pretty good job of clearing the area around. I think we are a little bit blind. Yeah, hold up. Let's see who I'm missing. Karna, blah blah blah. Uh, are they all coming place? with us? Yeah. yeah, they're coming with. Who am I missing? Where are we putting our tokens at? We're missing oh, okay. uh, Moth. There's Moth. I think that's all of us. Uh, yeah, here, let me... Yeah. Oh, that's, that's huge. This place is huge. Yep. I had a question right for Thomas. Are we, like, in some random facility, like, out in a field or something, or are we part of, like, a uh, city spire? Uh, it's not not really a city spire. It's like uh, uh, independent uh, giant buildings. Okay. With so just, uh, just a standard refinery facility kind of a thing then? Yeah, nothing too crazy. Cool. I mean, standard is still huge in 40k, but... Mm hmm Ah, jump scare. I got to it's a spooky yep. skeleton. I shake, I shake my head and frighten. <laughs> yeah, really. We shall know no fear, brothers. Still yourselves and let's move forward. Coward not Wait, have, before the enemy. I have two tokens. I have two tokens. You have split yourself in twain. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Double the firepower. It'll help. <laughs> All right. So the guards been kind of piling behind you guys. Ogren are following you guys like a big, big old group, covering them along the way, killing anything along the way as well. If there was anything that popped up, not too much popped up. You come into a very dark, unpowered facility. Do we have like flares that we can light up the area with? If we brought them. Yeah, we did not. Yeah, we did not. Yeah, I didn't see the section. Uh, where I... Yeah, hold up. The guardsmen actually do. Tell much later. Yeah, the guardsmen actually do have lights. Let's see. So Wait, they'll don't activate. Do we have armor-mounted flashlights, though? I think you do. Yeah. So. I mean, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see. But yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't Should light up a whole area. That just actually? lights up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I think we God. would have to have brought flares. We have to requisition flares and um, lights. It's kind of yep. crazy that we have to requisition all of that. Yeah, we have to requisition a wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, that should help with the lights. Who doesn't have lights? Bright light. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. The lights. The lights. Turn Exit off the lights. Exit light. Okay, well, I'm move forward. I'll follow closely behind.
God, there's a moving skeleton in here. Yeah, you guys see a servo skull in the, the corner of the room. You oh, see okay. it. Yeah, and it, it's kind of just busy at the monitors, you know, clicking things, doing things, observing things. As soon as you step in the room, you hear an audible whirling noise. It appears whirling. the generator is, is still online. Or... Huh? Whirring is in a weapon winding up? or, or yep. Yes. Yes. Oh, a weapon. Yep. I take that back, brothers. I believe it's a weapon. Are you able to deactivate its weapons, Technary? I can try. Uh, should I roll tech use for that, Boko? Go for it. Modifier? Uh, 10? Plus 10? Okay. Ooh. -hoo. Yeah, so. 96. That's rough. It missed, anyways. Okay. And I would then... like to uh, yell out to the servo skull. Oh, actually, no. Does that miss or is that a hit? That's Those a are hit. two hits. That's a degree of oh, success. Oh, okay. God. Yeah. Okay. It's automatic. It's four hits. Let's see. Who is, who is in line? Karnoth and Encius? Cool. Uh, I will try and dodge. I will try to dodge as well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I dodged. Okay. That's a pathetic amount of damage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> really low. Uh, who about, what about the other guy? So, Karnoth, you're going to eat 11 points of damage, 6 pen. To uh, the... I eat all of it. Okay, to okay. the... Okay. Let's see. Would it be center chest? Oh, no, hold on, let's see. No, it, 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 64, where's 64 at? Yeah, you center chest. armor for it not to matter. Yeah, 6411. So, with six pin. Yeah, that, none no, of no, my locations, that would even matter, so I imagine it won't for him either. I have okay. an armor of 25 with my chest, just so you know. But yeah, there's. What? Hi. Toughness 11, so he's probably got high toughness. Yeah, my toughness tough. is 54. Yep, there it is. That's why. Hi. Yeah, there's there's two auto turrets on top of the wall there, where you're at. I'm going to put down something. They drop down. Start blasting at you guys. I fire back with my heavy bolter. You should probably just get the servo skull to turn them on. I was about to say, I, I was I was wanting to yell out to the servo skull. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Servo skull, heed us. We are here under the Imperior's, the, Emperor's decree. Turn off these defenses and turn these turbines back on. All right. Can servo skulls do that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I have no idea what server skulls are. Floating skull. With floating skulls. So yeah. it's it's still trying to shoot at you, and both guns miss horribly. Well, I mean, do you want me to like make a uh, persuasion check or something at this servo skull? Sure, go for it. <laughs> well, servo skull. I mean, that just... sounds like it's a waste of time. Uh, sure, go for it. Uh, Oh, go for it. I'm serious. Go for it. Uh, any modifiers to this? Uh, minus 10? Minus 10. I yeah. Missed. I Dude, got it. How, uh, <laughs> oh, you got it. Nice. That's how service goes. Like. You see it turn around. Its eyes, are, its eyes are glowing red. And it still shoots at you. So I succeed... But I didn't I will, succeed. You succeeded. I will it, it, turned around, it turned around and looked at you. That's about all it did. One successful hit in that group, by the way. Okay. Mm, 14 points of damage be... to Neil Tyron. Oh, God. I'm going to do a dodge check against that. Yeah, because it's firing at all, y'all. Oh, no. 
I'm using. I'm. You, do you want to use the fate point? I'm Hold using fate point. How much armor do you have? How much armor? Uh, yeah. let's see. I have 20 armor, so enough. with six pen, yeah, that's. Should... 83 should be a leg. So. Yeah. So I have 20. I have 20 leg armor. So that's still gonna hurt. I think that brings it to zero. Yeah. It just brings it to zero. Brings what to zero? It's the six damage. pen. Damage yeah, taken. Yeah, 20, six, that's pin. Two and 20. six pin yeah. will reduce your armor total by six for the roll. Okay, all right. Which means well, you then, have 14 um, armor left, which soaks the rest of it. Okay, no fate point use then. Okay. Plink, 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 plink. Doesn't get through the yeah. armor. What are you guys doing? Are, uh, are the turrets shooting, or is it only the service ball shooting? No, it, 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 it's commanding gun turrets that drop from the ceiling that are blasting at you guys right now. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I charged, and I was uh, trying to hit... Oh, my God. You're going to use your jump jet to get up there? It's kind of uh, high up. That's just a normal, that's just a normal, normal charge. Oh, he's, saying like the, he's like they're saying they're hanging from the ceiling. Right. Well, so we convinced the, the servo skull to turn this shit yep. off. So why are we bothering to attack it? Well, I expect I might have to make another command roll at it. Or I can also help you with a command roll. Sweet. Do I gain any modifiers to this one? Minus 10. Does my air of authority help? What does it do? Uh, it means that anyone outside Space Marines recognizes my authority. Okay. What's the modifier for that? Uh, there's no modifier. That's just, it's just what the trait says. Oh, okay. Help in this instance or not, or anything like that. Uh, okay, I'm making a flat zero. Oh, cool. Well, then I would succeed. Cool. It still looks at you with just angry red eyes, and it's clicking another button, and another turret pops out. All right, over, kill it. Over this way. <laughs> just as soon, as soon as the turret comes out on the left side, I start shooting at it with the heavy bolter. And Karnoff, do a pod check so you can hit that the gun turret at the top. I'm assuming you're still going to do that. Nice. So you can land your, land your hit, yeah, right? Yeah, hit it. Yeah. yeah do, uh, do your, oh, you did your, Okay, cool. Uh, the turret's destroyed. Mm hmm And then what are you going to split it into? Yeah, you already did the damage before. I was just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's destroyed. Okay, what are you guys doing again? Dude, I'm going to try and shoot at the servo skull. Maybe we should watch the gunfire near a reactor. Especially with bolter rounds. True. I am shooting this turret right here, so it should not be near the reactor. Any modifiers? Let's see. You're half range, right? I think so. It's very close. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Then you get your, uh, was it, plus 40 if you're doing full auto? Yeah. All right. So that's seven points of damage. Okay. No, yeah. that's seven hits. Yeah, or okay. seven hits, yeah. Yeah, the servo skull explodes. He was shooting at a turret. I'm yeah. shooting at a turret right here. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm pretty sure the turret risky. explodes, too. Yeah, yeah, the, the turret, turret's done turret, for. Turret, turret, turret's done for. They only have, uh... Yeah, they only have 10 HP. They're done for. Well, I got three plus 10. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot at the, uh, servo skull. Do the, do no, the bonus hits uh, go to the next targets, or are they all absorbed by so they need to be like within a certain range of each other since uh, the super skull is on the other side behind cover and on the ground and the the thing he shot up is up uh, way up in the ceiling so he's like yeah. mm, so got it. it'd have to make sense visually so all right i'm firing at that servo skull yeah right? and i'm gonna roll my damage is that enough to kill it oh yeah okay Servo skulls thing. don't have much health, do they? Uh, not to my recollection. They are just a skull. Poom, poom, poom. Okay. 
And this other turret, as soon as that server, as soon as he drops, the gun turret uh, stops shooting at you guys. I gotta make the sound effects. Yes. Turn this bus on. Everyone else, spread out and secure the room. Yes, sir. I'm on it, brother. Uh, modifier for tech use, for fixing whatever the fuck. Do you go up to the terminal where the server skull was? Oh, I didn't realize he was at a terminal. Yeah, I'll go there. Yeah, he's at a terminal. He's he's pushing buttons, right. clicking things. All right. He I'm was gonna... ignoring you guys until uh, Nancy's there is barking orders at him. So then he's like, all right, you have my undivided attention. And then we shot him dead. Right. Well, he didn't do what I told him to do. He pushed another button and another turret popped out. <laughs> Maybe just forget what the buttons do. Well, he must have been programmed to do whatever whatever to uh, impede us. Okay, what's the modifier on this terminal? I'm looking at the terminal interfacing with the machine sphere, trying to figure out how to turn all the defenses back on. Without plus blowing us sky high. Alright, plus ten. Plus ten? Alright. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, well, I'm someone else got a good roll. <laughs> I got a fucking 88. So between the two of you guys, you're able to re, uh, reinitialize the power to the f defense network. It was turned off internally. You know that much. So I flipped it off for the whole system, whole network. So we flip a big Dr. Evil switch and everything Basically. goes back online? All right. Basically. Ch chunk. There we go. It should be back online. Right. You see, uh, you see on the display the the network of bunkers. It's about uh, several hundred of them around the facility, just lighting up. And then you see here and there bits and gaps with red that have not reignited, mainly on the western edge, leading edge. So you know the west has no defenses whatsoever. Is that where we came from into this facility? We came from the east, I think. Uh. Well, no, because it was northeast, southeast came... of us, so we did come from the west. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. With this objective secured, let's move to the courtyard and get out of here. Uh, if we can stay here for one second. Okay. Should we check to see if the targeting priority of the turrets is set mm -hmm. to anything? Mm -hmm. Or tier it is? That's a fair statement. Let's check on that. Tyrant, can you check that? I will certainly try, brother. All right, modifier on that, Poco? Uh, plus 10. All right. Uh, oh, I'll my spend, God. I'll spend a fate point for you to reroll that. Yep. <laughs> I'll spend my own fate point. Don't worry. Okay. Don't forget to add a plus 10. Add a plus 10, so plus 20. All right. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. So you, uh, <laughs> someone did switch the the turreting systems to target Imperial Guardsmen for a reason. Uh, mm -hmm. With the last hour or so, uh, so you're able to switch it back to basically so, target tier. So that's that brings up a uh, funny question. Does that mean we turned on the turrets before checking their priority and they started wasting guardsmen? <laughs> yep. I don't think there's a lot of guardsmen left at this point, though. Yeah, yeah we're, they're all inside, so it's okay. Okay. All right, yeah, there all we go. All, yeah, there's about there's about ten of them. They're all with you guys. Yeah. We need to fix the targeting priority. I push a few buttons and uh, set it up to kill Tyranids on site. Try to help with that as well. Do I have to roll another tech use for that, or is it just no, we are? Already... You already did your tech rolls. Your guy knows how, right. how he knows how to do all that. So all right, cool. He, he goes and sets that up. Okay. So good work, brother Tyrion and brother Castigar, and good suggestion, brother Zeal. Let's get out of here. Not an improvement. Sister Zeal. Scrap. 
map if the uh, how dare you assume skull it's has under. anything left in it, we should probably <laughs> grab its memory core or whatnot. Okay. Oh, of the servitor? Yeah. Okay. See, uh, maybe just fuck with it. I pick up the servitor. <laughs> I mean, we hit it with a bolt around. Is there anything left? <laughs> uh, what would be? What 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 trait would that be? Search. Let me search with it. Logic. I mean, we could probably Logic. visually see if it's disintegrated uh, or if yeah. there's something left. Evaluate. Evaluate. Yeah, do that. See. All right. Modifier. Uh, plus ten. Yeah. We have. Boo. We only have. We only have basic training skill for evaluations. Yeah, evaluations right. usually used for uh, other sorts of things. Hmm. As far <laughs> as you guys are concerned, there, you two, there's like that thing's destroyed, blown to smithereens, no use. Anyone else want to try? Yeah, it's done for, brothers. <laughs> I get any modifiers. No, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're just getting worse. <laughs> yeah, we'll step on it's just keep going. It's oh, all right, let's, it. let's get our bad rolls out of the way now. Little we'll gambler's uh, fallacy. It, it's Rising. definitely blown up. <laughs> right, yeah, it's as, missed. And as you guys get to the the exit here, I want you guys to do another perception check. Any bonuses other than our standard? Uh, just standard. Perception or awareness? Awareness, sorry, awareness. Thank you. Y'all hear that loud roar and explosions not not too far from where you guys are at. Right. Well, hopefully that loud roar is getting the crap shot out of it. <laughs> Let us get the hell out of here. Agreed. Is it heresy to say hell? That's where our enemies are going. <laughs> <laughs> or worse, to the warp. This one? Alright. What's the difference? There is no the difference. Warp is far worse. <laughs> the warp is far worse. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. I need to go to the restroom. Yeah, no worries. You guys in the courtyard? All right, let's call the in the. Moment uh, we get thing. to the courtyard, I will shoot the uh, signal or uh, activate the signal beacon for the transport to come and get us. We should also probably move west. Well, we uh, want to. Yeah, this is probably the most defensible area we could hope for. We yeah, don't want to move west because all the defenses and we want to move are east. down. <laughs> If anything, yeah, exactly. No, but like we came from, we came from the west. We we're heading west to get into here. So if we continue going west, no, we, we west where all the turrets were destroyed. Yeah, we came Whatever. from the west, so we were heading east to get here. Okay, got it. We're yeah. we're at the exfiltration zone in the, in uh, any in any case. I get your damn boys. In also, here. this courtyard should be like in the center, regardless. But we don't want to move away from the courtyard now. I'm going to uh, tell the Ogren, uh, "You come with us. We save you. You live if you okay. join us in dropship." <laughs> really is a salamander, isn't it? Really, I'm is a salamander. wannabe salamander. Anyway. I silently observe. I was Honestly, a tank commander, so I'm cold and calculating, but I always look after my own. As one does. So, as you guys are popping that flare, you get a, a box, <laughs> box signal from you guys' uh... What was it? What ship was that? Uh, from the ship. You guys' just ship. Your destroyer ship. They tell you they had to take invasive maneuvers to get away from the Tyranid. They're on the other side of the world right now. Uh, ETA is going to be about, about an hour before they can drop ship and get to you. You hold up. You guys gotta hold off for that long. Cool. 
Aren't you going to be putting those turrets on? Yep. Question, if we're going to hold out for that long, should we get inside and get as much enclosed space as possible to funnel the turrets in? You have about roughly an hour left before the horde gets on you. It's up to you what you guys want to do. And how long do we have to hold out for? An hour. An hour. Oh boy. We should probably spend an hour prepping for the horde to get in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Like, uh, ceiling uh, entrances, um, if we can find spare weaponry, you know, set up, you know, machine gun points, kill zones, that kind of a thing. Did we see any heavy weaponry in the loot pile down there in the refinery? Like uh, something that would Ogrins would bring to the pile? Did we see any of that? No, no, no. They're just collecting things that they thought was valuable. Okay. So we have we all have repair Mostly cement. Tra Mostly trash. Uh, repair cements for our suits. Right. Yes, but we can probably use it to seal doors shut. Probably. Probably. Yeah, let's do that. I'm willing to consume my uh, repair cement. Uh, we should probably set up our grenades as mines then as well, just in case. I'm back. Cool. Grenades. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully this time we do it successfully and no one yeah. loses a hand. Maybe carefully instead of rushing. Mm -hmm. we'll, okay. we'll make, uh, we'll it. make some IEDs. We do have an hour, so we have some time to set up these explosives in these tracks. Right. I have a full belt of crack grenades on me, so... As I have not spent any of my crack grenades yet. I, I, I would like eight to... eight tracks and I'm out of crack. <laughs> I would like and to use my logic skill to determine uh, where the best uh, place to put the grenades is going to be as IEDs. I think tactical skill would also help out with that. Well, I don't right. see anything for tactics. There isn't? I remember no. there is. There is. I Bottom have right. trained some. Bottom right. Bottom Man, right. Yeah, we all have it. <laughs> By the way, the Commerce yeah, Common War War. Yeah, the Commissar is telling you he's he's getting a Vox, Vox signal from something. He's not sure what quite it, what, who it's coming from or who it is, but it's definitely Imperial Guardsman, uh, of some sort. Uh, and he's he's asking one of you all if you, if you guys can get a lock on that signal. Tyrion, try and get these people on the comms. Right. Or, uh, Crassius. Cassier. So because apparently you two both have tech use. So before, before I do that, I'm going to tell all of you guys, because I'm the only one who rolled tactics successfully. Okay, you now I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm going okay. to tell everyone that we should, uh, take, take our, uh, grenades and use them as IEDs and put them specifically in choke points where we know a lot of Tyranids are going to be funneling in. The Ogren to speak up like, uh, we have these uh, boom boxes here, and he shows you a landmine. <laughs> I have a bunch of them. The loot room. You want us to get more of them? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yes. Bring them all here. We oh, need okay. boom box. Give us more boom box. Ah, okay. Make sure you handle them carefully. <laughs> Okay. So they sent some guards with them too for our escort. Sure. Our security. So they, yeah, they want. Uh, sure. Yeah, really. Yeah. You know, I think we mostly just to make sure they don't get lost. There's a way we could be real fucked up here. We could uh, have them attach some of those boom boxes to their weapons. It's <laughs> <laughs> up to you. Smack mm -hmm. boom. That is a very 40k thing to do, and a very imperial that is a 40K thing to thing. do. Yeah. But I don't think my character is fucked up enough in the head to allow that. <laughs> so, the guard, yeah, the guardsmen go off the Ogren to get more of the, the weapon arsenal uh, that they, they describe with the boom boxes. Because they're like, it was another another weapon loot room, some sort of Ogren were piling up previously. I'd say return with the landmines, they look like. Uh boom boxes in the musical sense, but they are acting as landmines. <laughs> sure. 
Well, they're Sorry. not wrong. They are boom boxes. Right. No, they're landmines. They're uh, anti anti vehicle mines, anti infantry mines of all sorts. Yeah, but they yeah. resemble boom boxes because that's what they call them. Sure. <laughs> boom box. So yeah, like I'm. Box. I'm pointing yeah. out using my tactic skills. I'm pointing out all the locations that they would uh, rack up the highest body count if we put them in these areas. So I'm assuming that's going to be, like, in choke points. I don't know, Boko, you can uh, you can determine where we end up putting those. So it'd be this map you see here. You just These are all uh, cliff points, debris fields. Right. Uh, Etc. So you, you so can how separate. do I draw circles? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's one spot. That's another one. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay some over here. Do you want them laying lay landmines there? <laughs> how I mean, many landmines do we have in total? I mean, presumably we have quite a few of them. Hold up. Let's see. We're also utilizing our grenades. You have Was ninety. Explosive radius you, have, on you have ninety-two. Oh boy, that's a lot. Yeah. What's the explosive radius on them? Uh, it's like a crack. It's like a cracking grenade. So ten meters. So none. They're just shaped. Not shaped. Uh, the frag. Sorry. Ah. Okay. So ten Five meters. Meter range. Yeah. So. I'm just gonna keep. Okay. Uh, What's the circles? Putting landmines down. Landmines, yeah, that's yeah. landmines. Which one are landmines? All of them. The circles. Okay. And and the ovals. <laughs> in case, the in case you were confused. Yeah, you have ninety-two of them. So that's quite a lot. You are counting all that, right? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I think we're at 92. 92 freaking landmines. I I hope you can just assume that they're just going to be <laughs> in a perimeter around us. Yes. Someone threw a whole bunch of landmines. Wait, so is that a cliff? So is that a cliff and the opposite side is the high ground or we're on the high ground? Which one? In a flat plain area is enough for transport to land in. Um it's a refinery, so this is like uh, debris, ore, all that stuff. Just pile up in in a field. It's like a courtyard for okay. that stuff. So, this Poker, are you able to delete these circles like when they trigger on enemies? Yeah, and yeah. Okay. Not a problem. I can delete anything you put down. Okay. Um, we should also seal off uh, entrance to the refinery so that they wouldn't uh, sneak up on us in case they break through. Before that, though... Let's try and get on the comms with those other Imperial Guardsmen. Ah, uh, yes, of True. course, brother. I almost forgot. If we were setting these out, he could probably do that. Uh, that's the wrong thing. Tech use modifier. 10? Plus 10? Right, hang on. I'm fat fingering this shit. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. You are losing, losing the signal. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I can help out with that. Yeah, do it. Hey, we got it. We get the signal in. It is that mercenary group you guys are supposedly supposed to link up with. Everyone on comms. Do they have a name? Uh, yeah, okay, I did give them a name. Hold on, let's see. Let's uh let's ask them to all right dude, I think we're out of landmines now. You think? Yeah, you put a whole bunch of them on the other side of that wall. You want me to start counting them all? <laughs> no, don't count them all, but like I can I can definitely tell there's twenty One, or thirty that you put down two, there. Three. <laughs> Let's see, black. Uh, uh, it's I think it's mines, so I'm pretty sure this is nowhere near enough. Yeah, it's the Black Death Mercenary Group, if I recall the name. Okay. So. Black Death Mercenary Group. This is Death Watch Kill Team Alpha Omega. Alpha, yeah, <laughs> being in. That works. Whatever you guys want to call yourself. 
What is your current location? Uh, they gave you uh, they gave you their their current location. They're about um, due west your position, about about fifteen minutes out. They've been fighting fighting through a shit ton of tyranids. Okay, we have secured a strong point in the courtyard of the refinery. I advise you make your way to us, um, and we will send a small detachment out to you to retrieve you. Because, you know, they are secondary objectives, so. Right. If we can get them, it would be good. Also, we do have roughly that left of an hour before the swarm gets us and our dropship arrives at the same time. And we managed to get the bunker system online, so that will help cover your advance as you move up. Yep. So they make their way to to shoot you. Yeah, they make their way to the, the front gates. By the way, since you have power, you're able to open the front gates now. Nice. If you wanted to. Oh yeah, we'll let them in and then immediately close it behind them. Oh yeah, they roll in with two Rhino transports. Sweet. Do they blow up? <laughs> we'll we'll direct them around our mini line guns. <laughs> I'd imagine we didn't mine the main entrance. I mean, no, uh, you, guys, you, guys, you guys are mining the courtyard, right? Because the refinery. Yeah, we 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 did mine everything though. Yeah, but because the refinery is huge, there's no way you're gonna be able to mine the whole thing. Like, yeah, uh, just just the area around the courtyard. We okay, fine. Mine, set up uh, machine gun nests, all that stuff. Yep. Anything that we can have as defensive defensive points everywhere. Okay, so I'll I'll label a few guardsmen as your. Uh... Although if we know that they were coming in from a certain direction, we might have left like you know a certain area free for the rhinos to drive up into, to give us a couple of rhino. Like, just to have them in the courtyard in case they get, like, a heavy bolter or something on them. They do. Sweet. So then we'll have, knowing that they were coming, we'll have held off on landmines from the direction that they would have been able to get into here. And then now we can set out those landmines in the area after they've made it into the courtyard. Yeah, it's a good idea. So uh, where will we place our machine gun nests and stuff like that? So yeah, the the guys with the uh, big strong arm icons, those are your uh, heavy bolter guys. So your machine gunners. Uh, let's I say see. we concentrate the majority of them from where the enemies are going to be coming from, and then spread a couple of them out like in different oh. areas in case we get flanked. The most part is that we mostly know that they're going to come from the west. Okay. Um, but. They could also come from everywhere. They are a massive swarm, after all. And then I just dropped the intel, the mercenary group's intel with you guys. So I had oh. this before, so you guys... That's all the resources they have, their, their, their firepower men they got, which is five guardsmen, Abel, 15 injured, one Ogren, Orc, he's dead. Um, Holy shit, they kept the hive turret. Wow. Yeah, but they weren't able to secure the body. Yeah, they're a punishment group. They just wave after wave of their own men kill these things. Oh, so this is like a full company of uh, Imperial, of uh, mercenaries. What, what's left of them? What's left yeah. of them? Yeah, okay. They, they, they were covering the retreat of Majos so he can get out. That was their thing. They were supposed to stay there and die for the Emperor to make, cover his, his escape and then find their way off world uh, uh, by however means. Boko, so. you're, you're just reminding me of a Zap Brannigan quote from Futurama. I That's said, I said wave it. after wave of my own my men. My own men. Until they kill my future kill limit. <laughs> um. <laughs> cool. Well, when they get here, it looks like they got a lot of injured, so oh, maybe... They can, ooh, they can create a toxin. What? An antitoxin thing. Or is it like no, the same no, thing? No, that... no, no, we can't. Do we want to hold off on the oh. antitoxin until we get to the ship with proper equipment. Yep. Got, it, got it. And let the majos take care of that. Because otherwise, you'll just kill both me and uh, uh, Tyrion. Iron. Right. Oh, okay, so I should do it then. Yes, absolutely, one hundred percent. This is the only way anybody's gonna be dying here. 
But yeah, they do have they do have some uh, medicines in the gate. The, the the toxins of the swarm. Wait, they have medicines in the gate? I thought they just had. Yeah, it's right there. DNA samples. They do they do have a lot of medicine to be created to negate any toxins from the swarm. Yeah, but That's we already what... tried to synthesize that and we failed, right? Earlier. Right, but this is Magus's group. Ah, okay. This is why the swarm right, so... went. Want him dead. Can I use that to make uh, antitoxins for the other two? Yep. Can I ask the Majos if he can just do it? <laughs> uh, he's incoherent. You just hear him blow out of it. Probably he's, some toxins for antitoxin for he, he's, he's really fucked up. He's incoherent. I, okay. Does the Majos... Is the Majos also toxified or poisoned or whatever? Uh, are you guys scanning him from head to toe or what are you doing? Yeah, I'll, I'll scan him up. Because the book specifically talks about all this stuff, which is kind of neat. I was like, oh, cool. I was going to have him do that anyways. So can so, we get, like... Sorry, go ahead. So you know this guy's just badly fucked up. I'm going to use the... a fate point to re-roll that medicate. Go for it. Are you kidding me? Do you want to spend another fate point? Yeah, I'm going to work on that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> much better. Uh, you're you're able to determine yeah, he is just uh, he needs severe medical care for his uh, his his uh, machine parts, all that stuff, because he's like uh, very incoherent. All right, but he doesn't perceive you as a threat. But What's yeah, he's. Mean? By the way, can we fortify machine gun positions? Uh, tech marine priest, did, did the tech marine priest wish to, or tech marine wish to try to talk to him? Uh, yeah. Is that tech use? Or is uh, it? Is that? Uh, oh, uh, would that be more. forbidden adeptus mechanicus? Yep. All right, I'll roll that modifier. Uh, zero. All right. Ooh, rolled a five. Oh, uh, you know, his voice, his uh, voice synthesizer is destroyed. His logic gates are kind of damaged, but you're able to talk to his machine spirit. Uh, you're able to deduce, or he's, he's telling you he's able uh, to negate all these toxins from this splinter group itself, the splinter hive fleet. And that was his primary mission that he was sent by the Inquisition to do because... Uh, these guys are a bunch of bad uh, jujus. You may have already seen as he sees your two space marine guys are infected. Yep. Okay, so I relay this information to the rest of our squad. Right. Uh, he tells you the data core contains all the available information to, to, to make a cure for this stuff. He, he was able Ooh. to create medicine to negate uh, the, the, the damage from... Uh, the the toxins for you know a short period of time, a couple days. Brothers, it is vital yeah. that does we he have secure this data now? core. <laughs> yeah, you said he, he was able to make some medicine. Does he have any of that medicine on him now? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, but he he can synthesize it for you. Cool. Ask him if he can synthesize can he it. Tell a me couple how to of vials of medicine. It. Yeah, how but he's, he's pretty. Huh? How long will it take? Uh. With with DNA samples from from toxins, uh, blood toxin samples, he can synthesize it in fifteen minutes. Good. Let's do that. Speed that up, any? Oh yeah, uh, five minutes. Sweet. Per vial, so. Well, now we know what was on the data core. That's good. Not that quick, it matters. The, um... I guess I'll synthesize two for Space Marines. And get our people negated at the moment. But there were a bunch of injured guardsmen in the group. Are any of them toxified? They all had. They all had. They. Uh, they were all negated before. They were all immunized. Right. Immun immunized before. This is this okay. is literally the, the punishment company that was that that was accompanying Majos on his mission. They, Does the uh, antitoxin work once, or is it permanent? 
Uh, if it's a temporary get, thing. He said it t- it would uh, get protection for like two days, and then yeah. okay. the toxin would resume again. Mm-hmm. He says, but, right, so he has a cure for it, but he just needs to get it back, and he needs to get fixed up. So they, the Tyranids really did not want him to survive. Right. <laughs> then every one of us should have a while in case we get injured as well. In the or just take one. Get it and take it now. That way for two days you'll be safe from the damage from it. Also true. Um, also, while they're making that stuff and, you know, giving each other our uh, fun flu shots, uh, I would like to distribute those uh, 10 med kits that that group had. I'm trying to get them to heal themselves because there's 15 injured. We can make some of them less injured. That'll help. Yeah, they had no medics. All they, they just had the kits. So all their medics are dead. They're just oh. like infantry. So they have no medics of themselves. That's why they didn't use any of those supplies yet. And not only that, they're un- under constant attack for the last uh, last two days. So they didn't have. There was a hundred of them when they started this journey. Excellent, brother Zeal. Once you've yep. uh, seen to the four or five of us, see if you can't bring some of these guardsmen back onto their feet. Sister yeah. Zeal. Sister Zeal? Yeah. yeah. Sister Zeal. Sylvester yeah. is a female. Um, okay, it'll take me at least half an hour to get us uh, immunized from this, and then, then I'll get on the guardsman. Cool. You can tell, uh, you can tell uh, Sylvester Zeal is a female because she has boobs. You can't see the past the armor. Uh, as a space marine, I really do. I would look at Moss profile. Long hair thing. and a slightly higher pitched voice and then the difference is stop. The amount of testosterone that would be pumping through you would probably turn you pretty uh, androgynous anyway. <laughs> I mean, that's just every blood angel at this point. Yeah, right. Let, let me get more Imperial Guardsmen on the field, though. Honestly, they were being less testosterone from your blood angel, wouldn't they? Considering? No. Well, then what that the heck is your image? Marine. Your image shows you have a really thin waist and boobs. Yeah, that's, that's just AI. the style they use for that one. <laughs> All right, we got five guardsmen on the field now that are, weren't injured. Uh, where do you guys want to set up those, uh, those uh, rhino transports? Uh, probably one to the north and south, right? Or we could have them line up against the west. It's better to have them in a single line to create a better like, choke point, I guess, or like a wall, I, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and we I think want to. the west, since that's where the weakest defenses would, I guess, theoretically be. We want to set up uh, cover for them to ma- to deploy their bipods mm-hmm. on their guns or whatever. If they need cover. Ah, it appears the rhinos have arrived. Uh, by the way, there's the difference between female and male space marines. Go with. What? <laughs> Good. So I don't think there are female space marines lore-wise. No, but if there were, yeah. that would be the difference. That will do Are you sure about that? Again, if all the testosterone I'm pumping through you, I'm pretty sure those it's boobs just would a be la- kind of Honestly, those are just a layer of fat. It looks like there's that's just a layer of there. fat, yeah. 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 Yeah, because we all get castrated in any way, so we have no reproductive organs. It's just how space marines are. Uh-huh. I mean, it's kind of like how why they're, the oryx are boys. Despite the orcs not having gender, just all that testosterone. Yeah. I feel like all that like massive muscle and... it makes it indistinguishable to determine gender. They're all fungus. Yeah, I think. The I think this is how fungus. we should place our tanks. I think this is like in this amount, like formation, so that they would kind of block the western side. Let me get the stats for that. Who maybe. called in siege tanks on my battlefield? Right. Me. Have you guys seen the StarCraft Ghost trailer? I have. I have. I wish that game came out because it looked 
Oh Look my cool. god, it would have been fucking Starcraft Ghost incredible. actually kind of did. They Starcraft Ghosted us. It's a yeah, Starcraft sure 2 did. DLC now. There's, there's like a little uh, map DLC for it. Yeah, yeah, um, it's uh, the Covered Ops missions. The Nova Covered Ops missions is basically Maybe. that. So, yeah. But, well, oh me, my well, god. That's the idea of it anyway, but I think a first person uh, or a third person uh, shooter in the world would have been pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah maybe, yeah. We'll never know. It looked, well, it looked, it looked like, uh, what was it Splinter Cell when I was watching the gameplay? I was like, that looked really dope. Yeah. Uh, so I think they turned, we... Sorry, oh, I continue. think they turned uh, assets from that game into what Overwatch became. Really? I'm not sure about that. I have not, I have not heard that information. But uh, is it safe to assume we all, at this point, have taken a vile event at Oxen? Yes. Yep. Okay. Here's a good question. Can I start healing the wounds they've suffered from the toxins they've been getting? Now that we're immunized for two yeah, days or whatever. Yeah, you can. I could use one because I've been damaged since the last time you healed me from that toxin. Yeah, let's heal up. I was gonna That's say something, but I four, forgot yeah. what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah four. Uh, with the med kits, oh, if you use all of them, you could probably fully heal both you and uh, Yelmuk there. Can we use all the med kits on the guardsman? Yeah, I was wanting to use those ten med kits on the guardsman. He hasn't used it yet. Let's, um, it's up to you if you want to use on the guardsman or if you want to use what's in them to heal both you guys to full health. Well, more standing guardsman is more uh, one body yeah. shields and two better firepower. Okay. Counter agree. argument: We are much better suited to deal with turrets than the guardsmen. But, as but, I saw in the previous encounter, none of them could even hit the turret. Wait, but Dan, last Do session, you want one big gun or ten small guns. Ten small. Also, body and, shields. Dan, oh, yeah, last session. Or meat shields. Last session, Dan, you yeah. didn't hear this, but uh, uh, Moth was able to determine that, like, we'll at least survive until the end of the day. Like, it's not an immediate threat. Oh, to you're us. you're immunized from the toxins. I think. Damn right. So okay. not only are you going to survive the day, you'll survive a few more days. Right. Mm -hmm. And once we get uh, off off world, then that's when. Presumably, yeah, we're going to actually be cure it, you're going to have to survive a few more days regardless. Right. Uh, yes, I, I am aware of that. I'm speaking of the coming encounter that we may have. Uh, I am grievously wounded as well, and I am a melee uh, space marine. So, that would oh, pose you're that grievously position. wounded, yeah. Let's take care of those wounds first. Brothers, I'm you may hold off. Woods. You may hold off on healing me. I believe it is imperative that the guards be tended to. Give the guards my portion of the heals. Right, so how much... Are you sure you're not a who's, who's, who's got what wounds? <laughs> right, I have 15 out of 20. Yeah, heal him. I'm You'll sure I'm not a salamander. I have four, so I'm fine. Cobra, uh, how many do you have? How many have I got? What? Yeah, wounds. What's your wounds? I'm at uh, 4 out of 22, meaning uh, I have 4 HP left. So oh, you right. have 60... I'm like half wounds. dead. Yeah, you have 18 wounds then. Yeah, 18 wounds. But I, uh, to display... It, on, on Guardsman? Nope, I'll be healing uh, Tesseract uh, and Dan. At the full health? Uh, yep. Okay, so... So the fifth speed, 15 guardsmen, you going to heal by hand, or are you going to... All heal by hand. Okay, it will take five minutes in each one you want to save. All right, then. I guess I'll just spend the rest of the time doing that. And yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not a salamander, but I am a father to my men. Don't have any men. It's Every so life is worth <laughs> saving. Let's tie it up. So 30 minutes uh, synthesizing and immunizing you guys, and then you're spending another 10 minutes. Uh, it's 40. 10 minutes, 10 minutes healing Dan and Tesseract up, and yeah. the rest of the time, which I guess is 20 more minutes. 
So Back guards. to full health? Yeah, it's four guardsmen you can get up. Yeah, uh, Dan and Tesseract are both full health now. Okay. Full health. Alright, sweet. So no wounds. Actually, uh, roll medicine. We'll see how many you can see. See if you can speed it up. Do a medicine check. Do four medicine checks. Not that I mean you can get up that amount of time. That's four. That's five medicine checks, isn't it? Oh no no. The the first one was something else. Okay. It was early. Okay, one. Two. One. So either way it was four. Okay. So you have four additional guardsmen. If you want to count decimals, it's six. You want you want to do six? All right. Let's do six then. So an additional sixteen guardsmen on top of the guardsmen we rescued before. Yeah, they put the initial. Yeah, initial five down, and then I'm putting the, let's see, one, two, three, four. Five. You should probably have that one guardsman over here, not one who's in the backfield. Uh, Let him be the bait. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, where do you guys want to set your machine gun, guys? The guys with the arms, is your big old heavy bolter guys? Let's have one north, one south, and the rest of them west. That's what I think. That's about right, yeah. Uh, do these rhinos have heavy bolters on them? They, or anything? Do, in, they do indeed. Sweet. Uh, Let's some guardsmen up there, then. Yeah, some basic guardsmen manning those uh, heavy bolters. Basic yeah, they, the, the mercenary guardsmen go back up there. For sure, they say we've been at this two days straight. We could man it some more. Well, in less than ten minutes... We should all hopefully be on a Thunderbird out of here. Yep. Yeah, they're vo the 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 destroyers box coming every so often, telling you how many, how far they're out. You know, 15, 10 minutes, fifteen minutes before Thunderbolt Thunderbolt drops. By the way, these guys are going to be in cover here. Yeah, let's get the initiative thing with Bobber. This up. guy will be in cover. I will stand head. next to them and protect them in case any melee turnings came come in. Alright. I'm just going to be doing tech marine things and doing combat only if necessary. And you said it's, uh, what is it? Yes, yeah, this roll initiative now, guys. It's, uh, 1d10 plus modifier, agility modifier, right? Yep. So the guardsman gets sticks. There was a command for that somewhere to go. And let's see what the. Natural war. Natural one. Nine. Natural one. Well, you guys are... Hang on. Natural six. Uh, wait, what? I think I did it wrong. Yeah, you did. No, you didn't. How do I? You did it correctly. I'm gonna pen, I'm, I'm gonna pen that uh, thing. Yeah, please do. Oh, I can't pen. I can't pen that All right, message, where is but... It? Where is it? I'll pen it. I'm copy-pasting. I'm copy-pasting. Just copy-paste it and I'll pen. All right. I just pinned it. Oh, right. I just selected it. Hang on. Thing. Edit oh, the what do you like, you have to do... add your own uh, agility modifier to it. Yeah, so do like in parentheses or something. In parentheses? Yeah. Does this work? No, it does message. not. So in the place of that tracker, I just put in my agility bonus. Correct? No, right? No, your agility bonus is uh, you see the one d ten plus. It's yes. right after the plus. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Keep in mind you have to select your uh, token. 
Yes. Okay, before you do that. Also, you do need the and. Yeah, there you the go. I'm on the ampersand. Oh, so it's right. like 1d10 plus thing ampersand tracker. Yes. Yep. Okay. It's super weird. It's how their programming works. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, so but like there should marks as a marker for something. There, it's it should be it it's it should be automated. Like there should be a button in the thing that says most initiative. character sheets have it, and they use this to do it. Right. Just like you hit a button on the character sheet. For whatever reason, who built this character sheet? They didn't add that to it. Is there yeah, a better character sure caveman. sheet? Caveman. <laughs> caveman. They they wanted us to do it the caveman way. I guess they figured it was uh, too easy of a calculation. They didn't need a button for it. Yeah, no uh -oh. such thing as too easy of a calculation. So, during the last 10 minutes, you guys are uh, holding that position. You guys see the approaching swarm coming in from all sides. All sides. Uh, that's right. Question, does the the wall in front of me, is that a full cover or a half cover? I don't know. I just figured uh, we should put up cover and then have the... Yeah, you guys there. have full Imagine cover. it would be half cover. Otherwise, those machine guns would be pretty worthless. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, so you there's guys have half, half cover everywhere? Maybe it's full goal. cover, but with a viewport for the machine gun or something. I don't know. You can do that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, it would obscure the rhinos. Uh, would it? If... Or how Scope tall those rhinos? Them. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. Rhinos yeah. are like 14 or 16 feet tall. Right. They're fine. They're right. effective. Full, but, full uh, unless, it, unless it's uh, minimum range here, so they won't be able to hit anything uh, immediately in front of the cover. Yeah, full cover, then viewports for the machine guns. Almost like pillboxes. And that uh, roar you heard, it's it's uh, right on top of y'all. North, south, east, uh, west. Ooh. Yeah, that you, you, you're. Go ahead, roll. You can determine the direction where that where it's gonna come from. Awareness. Yeah, awareness. All right. Awareness tactics. One of those. Apothecary it is coming. Got it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now. Dominango, what chapter are you? You should add that to your name. Coming from, it's coming from the east. From you guys, the eastern position. It's going to come from this angle. Hands. Okay. Big roar. Oh, boy. So they fought Not from the, the right side. They fought through the bunker network to get here. They, they did. It bought you some time. Brothers, There's... we're being flanked. You're being surrounded. Well, we're we being surrounded and flanked. Why yeah. do you think we set up mines everywhere? We already knew this. Yep. <laughs> oh, I knew you guys knew this would happen, for sure. I, I, was, I was talking to our uh, tech marine. Oh. I'm sorry, my situational awareness is subpar. What? We're getting flanked? Where did this we're happen? being surrounded. Oh man, my awareness is terrible. I, sh I shake my head in confusion. You nod in confusion, you mean? No, I can now do other moves with my head. Thank almost, you very much. Al almost done here. Almost done. You shake Fire your is head the warriors, in the pink ones. Followed by the Hormagons, the ones with swords. And remember, don't jetpack out to them. That them come to you. There's also a few shrieks in here as well. I will no. consider it, brother. Pink is so, pillars. So They're trying to kill us. Yeah, some of those pinks are uh, 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 shrieks. So, in fact, I'll I'll label them for you guys so you guys know. Butterfly. Were shrieks just like? Termagants that fly, or are they warriors that fly? They're warriors that fly, that's what it says okay. to use. I modified them the first encounter to be Hermagants, so I didn't outright murder y'all because of the poison. Because they would have killed you. So, 
there are some mutated ones, but I'm making them. This is you guys are gonna take on the full force. Thank the emperor. Yep. Ooh, apparently I can control that. Interesting. And, yeah, they get uh, movement debuffs when on the ground. So if they get knocked out of the sky, they're they're terrible. No, I was saying I was able to control the rhino. Okay, yeah, yeah, I gave them to all you guys. So, the ones with the little little uh, wings there, icons, those are the shrieks. Okay. Y'all, y'all rolled? Or yes. Initiative. Yes. Okay. Oh, Termagons go first. I mean, we rolled really badly, too. Do they go first? They got a 10. Who else did, who I didn't did. get added? I got a 10. All right. What's your agility? 46. Okay, you, you can go. Let's see if we can rearrange it to you go first. Okay, you go first. Nice. Trying to be fair here. I know, it's just, I don't see anything, so I don't even know why I decided to do that. I think I'm out of range of literally everything I can hit. <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to get a drink. So what are you doing? No, I'm not out of range. Okay. I guess I'll just uh, shoot this guy over here. Which one? Way over here on the east. Go for it. Or I miss. Yep. That's all I can do? Yep. Okay, the swarm goes. Now, you could have taken like a half action to aim, which gives you a plus 10. And then a half action to shoot, which means you would have hit. Oh? Did you do, did you do all that now that you know about it? Sure, let's say that. Okay, roll of diamond. <laughs> also, if it's been within, yeah. like half range. Oh, yeah. Gun, oh, it's, it's now within half range. 10? My range is 30 meters. It's barely within 30. Oh, uh, okay. Nineteen be five ten. Nice. Ow. And you can roll an additional, you know, 1d10 to see if you can get better. All right. So, I want to remind you guys that, uh, we uh, found a tank. We found a whole pile of rust buckets in the shape of a tank. And uh, mm -hmm. then we found landmines that looked like boom boxes. <laughs> mm -hmm. We did. Yeah, this world's weird. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything to uh, an Imperial standard. Honestly, it's probably best that it gets purged. <laughs> <laughs> Exterminatus now. I am not in agreement. Yeah, I got that covered. Alright. Exterminatus now is I mean, an excellent weapon. Honestly, comic, by the way, it's probably a good thing for the for us, bad for the Tyranids, because they're getting this planet's curse. I mean, just look at how many Tyranids killed themselves with their own weapons. <laughs> <laughs> it's already a question. Effect. Question to the DM: uh, By the time the Tyranids hit us, how much time is remaining until the the rescue ship? Get right. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Here, this is gonna be your. How many rounds you have to survive? Can so... we say five minutes before? So like five minutes. Oh God, no! Don't, don't give him ideas. Thirteen rounds. Oh, the drop got it. Did the defense affect that? Say again. Well, we did activate defense. Would that affect that many rounds? Oh, the defense bought you time. You didn't get swarmed before you set up mines. Yeah. It bought you that, it bought you that hour. Okay. Because they were they were literally on your guys' heels the whole time. Yep. And they also poured in from the west, so this isn't even the, like the full force of the 
entire swarm. They pour them from the west and just surrounding your area. And the big boys on scene, so they're using tactics now. Yeah. Well, let's see if their uh, weapons ex explode just like the last times. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Now they're, it's their turn, so let's see. And he's going to run up to you, Moth. When you shot him, he's oh, going to run across the mines. Oh, mines. Is he? Yep. So go ahead. And he triggers, let's see, one, two, three mines. Go ahead, roll your grenades for the explosion. Which well, one? He... Crack grenades, oh. right? Or frag? No, no, uh, well, anti-personnel mines or uh, anti-vehicle mines. Like, what are we? What are we rolling for this? We deploy a lot of improvised explosives. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's say let's say your purple, your purple mines there. That's anti anti-vehicle mines. Blue anti-personal. And the red then, squares were my grenades. The, uh, the yeah. So he's taking a kraken and uh, two anti-personals. So I'll cracking two frags. I'll roll the damage on those. Yep. I could have sworn there were mines. Oh, there is. Let's see. Uh, they're both dead. <laughs> oh, that's the first one. First one's dead. Okay. Uh, and he triggered... Let's see. That mine got a righteous fury. I think it gets it to try and attack again. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> You can just delete those, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to. Doesn't want to, like. What I can delete. I can delete my own circle. What, the, yeah, what layer do you that. put it on? Oh, is, is fine now. Hold on. I think we only have the one layer available to us. How do you delete okay. your own circle? Select the circle and then press delete. Hold up. Okay, I deleted it. I can delete it. So I'm gonna do that. That was wrong. There, I got it. You, you deleted one too many. Control Z. Control Z. So this one went this way, and he triggered. Control C didn't work. Actually, you oh, can probably. You can, he, he died to the. He died to the first mine, so you can put two back. Oh, cool. Yeah, he died to this mine here, so he, and this guy died to this mine here, so you can put. Yeah, you can put those two back. All right. So we need to bring one more. Back. Also, what's right. the damage table for the boom boxes? Are there we should gonna... be one more orange. Are we going to pretend that the boom boxes are crack grenade equivalent or something? Uh, the purple ones are your crack grenades. The blue ones are your, are your uh, frag grenades. All right. I'm going to say frag grenades times two, the blue ones. Got it. And the orange. Oh, I can, oh, I can change my color. Okay. Hey. Yeah, you can. So this Hermagon is going to go this way. It's going to trigger the first mine. Go ahead and deal, deal the mine damage. I could have told you that, dude. I assume that you picked the color you wanted your dice to be or whatever. No, that's my default. Yeah, go ahead and do the Kraken damage. <sighs> All right, I got it. Oh, okay, that mine's deleted. He's still up. Feed us, delete us. And then this is going to be a frag grenade times two. So, 19 damage. Yep. And he's, he's deleted. Okay. Uh, let's see, that was three guys. I'm going to do three more. Uh, these guys are flying. So they don't give two two shits about your minefield. So he comes into here. And he comes into here. And then one more. Oh my god, it's gonna come this way. Kraken. Alright, I got it. Yep. And then, uh, frag times two. Frag times two? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
He's super dead. <laughs> Boom. Okay. And it is now... Domingos, go. Ready? Dude, 13 rounds. That's an insane amount of time to hold off. I know. By the way, a, a hopper mine, which is what I'm assuming these anti-personal mines are, do 40, 10 plus 5 damage. Then you're still killing this game. 40, okay, so it's how much? 40, 10 plus 5. <laughs> so they do okay. more than crack grenades. Oh, like bouncing okay. Bouncing Let's just start doing that. Not what? only are they, they pop up, essentially they hop up and then they just spray shrapnel in 10 meters around. 40, 10 All plus right. what? Uh, what's their uh, penetration? I'm adding it into my card right now. Uh, penetration 40, of 3. Hopper mine. 40, 10 plus 5. Penetration 3. Yeah, I heard that. Speed times 3. They have the blast 1 property. So that'll be the purple ones. So the the blue ones are still going to be your uh, what is it? The um, jerry rigged mines. They're still going to be frag grenades times two, and then orange one frag grenades. Last one. Rate of fire. Mine is. They're not mine. It's... So your purple grenades are far more deadly now. That's crazy. Okay. Yes. Our purple mines. Okay, I've I've got the. Uh... So what's the class on that? Is that thrown or like just mine? Uh, placed explosive. Okay, so I'm gonna do a test damage roll for that. Oh yeah. Okay. Feels yeah, better. those are. Those are quite potent. Brothers. Oh, brothers! <laughs> so I move to the north of the bunker. So as I half move, and then I start aiming at these uh, flying warriors. Okay. And that's plus 40. So, mm -hmm. hang on. I have a question. The hopper mines get launched into the air, and then they explode, and that causes an airburst effect. Uh, they, they don't explode. They spray out shrapnel. Oh. But it says they do. So wouldn't that hit like air flying targets? The winds. They're oh, they're God. only triggered by things coming near them. So there's a ton there. So go ahead and throw in an extra damage roll. That's <laughs> Extra damage or extra hit? Yeah, we auto hit uh, when it's against Xenos for uh, Righteous Fury. Are you using? Uh, just do another are... damage. There we go. Are you doing the uh, Hellfire rounds? I imagine. If, if he has any left. Um, using a heavy bolter, no, not on them. I do have the heavy bolter or the hellfire ready for my regular bolter with select fire. I'm using my heavy bolter right now. Right. Okay. What's the damage? Yes. <laughs> Look at all those yes. damage he hit with nine shots. Yeah, hold up. Let's see. And the because they absorb here the warriors absorb. Now, you could also, you know, roll 9d10 and uh, see if any of those are... Yeah, you know, without rolling <laughs> extra stuff, it's 186 damage. So, all that minus uh, 18 across the board, because they absorb 18 of it. With their well, armor. 6, so they absorb 13 of it. 13 of it, sorry. Still approximately a fuck ton. Yeah. Yeah, 6, 1, uh, 5, 10... Uh, 10, 11, 12, um, 7, and 7. So what's the total in that? Were, were you not adding? <laughs> no, I didn't have my calculator out. It should be somewhere around 70. 70? So, uh, I still need to roll, right? <laughs> yeah, there's still that extra 90 tens he gets to roll to uh, oh, see he's, if... He's, he's just blown out of the sky. All right, cool. So we'll um, splat damage for the second one. Yeah. By the way, if you guys want to do simple addition, Go for it. you can yes. roll one d one minus one plus, and then like three plus four 
plus five or whatever. You can you can just do it like yeah, that. Yeah, because you can just have a calculator. It's just the same thing. Yeah, but up. Or you can. It's, yeah. it's a preference. Windows test. tends to have calculators. Yeah. So do cell phones now. Yeah, but you can use the thing as a calculator, just in chat. Uh, so Domingos, how much of your damage is spilling over to the next one? Um, what health do they have? <laughs> yeah. Say again. How, how many health? health? 48 each, so 48 damage goes into the first one. So the remainder will go to the second one. I don't have that. I, all I have is I totaled up everything, and I did a roll, but I haven't applied the roll to the new damage just yet. So it's a... Uh, additional 4 for the first one. Uh, an additional same. 7 for the second one. Uh... An additional five for the third one. I am so glad I'm not a ranged character, so I don't have to deal with this bullshit. An additional <laughs> one, plus an additional uh, five. Okay, I'm already lost. Uh, yeah, that same one here. doesn't get replaced. That's an additional one point. That's an additional four points, and that one's an additional four points. You were all you were all adding those, right? No. <laughs> Your mug is. Uh... So what you're saying it was an extra twenty. Yes. Oh, okay, so I twenty from the other Tyranid. Okay, he's hurting pretty bad. On the, they did oh, the no, that was just the extra it. damage. That's not including the damage. So from, it should uh... be somewhere around ninety total. Yeah, oh, ninety six plus twenty. That's total six damage in total. Yeah, the guy should be hovering uh, around ten. How much? Health. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah, he's hurting pretty bad. He's knocked out of the sky, too, so he's grounded. Okay. Awesome turn. Two warriors, man. All right. Guardsmen go, right? Uh, they're going to use that uh, rhino transport. Let's see... They're going to attack. Here's thing towards them. Both of them. They both fucking miss. Oh, I mean, let me, let me, let me. Did I not put their ballistic skill? Oh, that's why. Hold up. It's gonna be. That's why the they missed. Skills. Yeah, it's <laughs> the zero. Skills is zero. Zero. <laughs> Yeah, that's my fault. I, I thought they, I... Do they lift, bro? <laughs> right. That's better. Contrary to popular belief, Imperial Guardsmen are not entirely useless. Right. They have better shots than I am. <laughs> They're actually as good as my shots. Heavy Bolter does what? Uh, uh, full auto, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But they don't get right to Fury or any of that. That was a total of 97 points of damage to those two uh, streets. Let's see. So both should be dead. Should both be one dead. hit from the first one and then four They're hits both. from the second. Both dead. We'll just kind of we'll make it simple. They're both dead. Ah, uh, so the one damage overkill. So the rhino. Oh, we got a ten. So the rhino can roll that again, can it? No. It can't roll. It's not no. space marine. It doesn't get righteous. Well, no, no. Everyone gets righteous fury. Like, what? They? Yeah. I thought it was only Space Marines got it. No, because Righteous Fury is in a roll in all the other rule books too. Uh, no. that, so if we were playing Inquisitor or uh, Rogue Trader, everyone gets Righteous Fury. They though have to make another attack roll to see if they hit. Yeah. yeah. They, you did that. Hold up, let me see. Uh, how many? How often is that? What's the rate of fire of that heavy bolter? Should be ten. Ten. Oh, so it. Your, the second ranged attack you got should have had four hits from it. Okay. Gotcha. So another three damage rolls. So I have a question. Do the uh, hopper mines trigger on uh, flyers? Do they trigger on flyers? I don't think they would be. I, I, they say they trigger on close proximity, so I imagine no. Okay. Imagine it's like a, the spider mines from Starcraft One and the Archons. I'm Imagine thinking. It's Archons. I'm thinking more of Widow mines because they launch a projectile up in the air that sprays shrapnel around. Yeah, but again, okay. cold work. 
close proximity to the yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And their no, range is that. very limited. They're, they're going to be that. up in the sky and dive bombing on you guys. And they tried. They tried dive bombing, but someone with a damn heavy bolter decided to end their life. <laughs> it it <laughs> wasn't a decision. We had no choice. It was them or us. So he's going to take 18 to the... F or what was that? 20... 23. Of course we had no choice, Cobler. They're filthy Xenos, and we're not. <laughs> True. We won. Okay, so this guy's dead. Well, imagine what they must <laughs> think of us. The only good Xeno is a... Blood fog Zeno. This is true. You mean a dead Zeno? No, nah, he means no, 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 no. Dead, Zen dead Zenos are not enough. They need to be pasted. Yeah. Super dead. So this Termogon's dead. Need to be but the Zenos that just are blood fogs to begin with and that are deadly in that form. This one's the only good Zeno is one that's lit on fire. Yeah, so this one's going to focus down this guy here. He absorbs 13 of that, so get three gets through, and then five gets through on the next one. Okay, now, uh, uh, Ansius, go. Cool. Well, my prime objectives are dead. Um, I guess I will whoop, stop it. Turn around and uh, shoot it. That one. AFK for a minute. Oh, uh, the mages did tell you wanted he wanted a specimen from the the, the hive tyrant, right? If he can, uh, he can get the fuck over it. He's, he's just letting you know that it would be beneficial to the mission. Oh, I'm sure, but our primary objectives are all been completed. As long as we can make it out. Anyway, um. I assume this guy gets covered. I don't know what, how much, though. Thomas? Say again? How much cover does this guy get? Um, he, it's a berm. Half cover. So, 10? All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this will be with uh, Hellfire rounds. Sweet. So, he's going to... Freaking die! Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a fate and uh, and reroll that. Okay. Now, when we spend fate, do we actually get a plus ten, or is that just somebody had a trait that gave them an extra plus ten when they use fate? I think that gives you plus ten when you use the fate. When I was reading on it, so just do plus ten. Are you gonna say you don't want the goodness? Take the good. No, no, no. I just want to make sure that you know I'm not adding extra crap. To, to no, no, no. It. Take it. Take it. It sounds okay. like good. Well, good there's shit. uh, there's four hits, and remember, no natural armor from this. Yep, ah, he's gonna face tank. He only absorbs ten of it. Tank naturally. Okay, I am back. So that's uh, hold on, eleven. Hold on, hold on. I'm not done. Uh, because this he's is righteous fury. Uh, or because it's Hellfire, I get a couple extra damage rolls. And then I get to roll another couple d10s for that. And then um, each one of these has both, has two nines and then a nine and a ten, which I don't know if that's four extra hits or just I one per. Like one. No, it's just it's one, one because... Per, yeah, I feel it's one per. Keep in mind, you can only fire extra hits up to your uh, clip. Yeah, I know. Uh, how many hits has this been so far? One, two, three, four. He's super dead. Five, so. six, seven, eight. Is he, is he super dead, though, Thomas? Uh, he only has 40 <laughs> HP. Yeah. Have you done more than 40 damage collectively? I think you have. Yeah, probably. But can I swing that over to the other guy? <laughs> yep. Uh, so so let's 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 see how much damage absorbed first. So, so that's, he absorbs the, ten naturally or uh, toughness, right? Okay, so I'll uh, sweet. Let me do math again, and I'll just tell you the total. Yeah, I got a calculator here. Let's see, so I got eleven plus five. Oop. Nope, nope, because those uh, d tens will be adding to that. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'll let you do it. You know, what you yeah. Do. 
You know what your character's doing. Plus, and it's just ten that's getting removed, right? That's it. That's all. That's all his toughness is. Okay. Yeah, his toughness. Or yeah. That's wrong. This is something else. No natural armor. Yeah, because his natural armor is eight. Fortunately, it's only 76 damage. So 30 more can roll over and kill a guy behind him. Yep. So I'm assuming you're doing that. Of course. Okay. Karnoth, you go. You're up, man. Uh, am I able to prepare a action, prepare a melee attack in case anyone wanders into my vicinity? Yeah. Okay, Perfect. that is possible. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. You'd be you'd be setting up wherever you're waiting for someone to come through. Swack. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like this area in front of me, it seems forever heavily defended, and it seems like we are getting flanked by two warriors, so I'm going to go and move and probably assist uh, others next turn. So that's going to be... 20. Right, and just a reminder, you guys heard that roar in this direction. That big in that one. direction. Uh, right, yeah. but you know, if warriors get up behind us, it's going to be just as bad as a freaking hive tyrant. True. So, all right, that's There are two 50. warriors over here near the hive tyrants coming in here, so... I'm gonna risk. Actually, should I risk it? Yeah, fine. I'll risk it. I'm gonna use my jetpack. Fine. Uh, pilot. Where's my pilot? There you go. Oh boy. Uh oh. I will spend a fate point to reroll that. Go for it. All right. Good. Uh, let me just. Do that. All right. And. I'm going to move right over here next to our apothecary. And I guess that's my, f hold on. My full move is, I move 55 meters and that was plus extra 10. Yeah, that's my full move. Hey, okay. I'm done. Tyron, you are right. up. I'm going to take a shot at uh, this alien right here, this purple guy, pink guy. Yeah. With my Stardust Bolter with Fire Selector. I'm going to do my two hit roll. I believe my modifier, I'm doing full auto, so it's plus, plus uh, 20. And then I'm in half range, so it's plus 30. Am I doing that okay. correctly? Yep. And I think right. there's, I'm shooting like over cover, so I don't, I don't. Yeah, it looks like you got a straight. Looks like you got a straight shot to that guy. Yeah, this is an open killing field. Okay, in that case, plus forty then. Yep. Pum 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 pum. Okay. Oh, nice. That's 40. sixty-nine giggity. All right. So I'm gonna roll my damage, and that's what six hits. It's four hits because the uh, bolt gun only has a. The full auto on a bolt gun is only four. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's that's a lot of damage. Are you using? And don't um, forget hellfire to throw your four d tens. I don't know. Do I have hellfire rounds? Pass uh, no. the hellfire rounds, brothers. No hellfire. Uh, the tactical is twenty five requisition time. for hellfire uh, for ammo specifically. Okay. Also, hellfire rounds cost. 25 requisition. Yeah, so, so that's, it's, not, it's not Hellfire. These are regular bolter rounds. So he's absorbing uh, 18 of that, of all that damage that's incoming. Well, don't forget okay. to roll your uh, uh, extra D10s. And why is he absorbing 18? You mean Eight 13 because of pen? Oh, pen. You're right. L glorious pen. Sorry. 13. Boop. Yeah, but make sure you roll your 
four D10s. So there we All right, go. so first one, first one I can swap the six with an eight, so that's effectively twenty. So yep, first so one is twenty. Second one, I'm going to swap the one with a four, so that's effectively eighteen instead of fifteen. Third one, no replacement. Third one, no, no replacement. Thank you. And Other fourth one, no replacement. replacement. Yep. So okay. 13 is how much damage? 13 coming there's 9 and then that's a So 29 zero. damage, Thomas. Yeah, I got it. He's he's hurting. I blew a limb or two off. Right. I don't know where I hit Press the seal go. Oh, it's already my turn again, huh? Oh yeah. We're moving fast. Yep, this will be round one. And this one up comes up, so there you go. Thank you. Twelve rounds to go. That'd be perfect. We'll, we'll end right at one, and then I get to craft the next mission, which would be com completely. Since we're not dealing with orc mercenary group, I can make a completely different mission for you guys. Chaos, whatever. I'll think of something cool. All right, Sweet. can't With wait. With the 10 meters scoot, I roll over and cover back over here, and I guess I fire at the warrior. Awesome. Go for it. Aiming and firing, and I miss. You don't want to burn the point? I am not a ranged character. Okay. I have 36 ballistic skill. I am not meant for range. Okay, yep, so on their turn, you hear that roar. Let's see? Did I, did I just want to put the token down. Oh, he's, he's too small. He's smaller than the other guys. No, you see the, uh... <clears throat> In fact, let me get his character sheet up. So he can do some, he can do some stuff. Oh, and he brought some boys with him, too. Oh, he didn't need to do that. They can go back home. Well, he brought a bunch of Hermagut boys. Oh, God. Is that the Hive Tyrant? Yep. We're in some serious shit now. Okay, and on his turn... Go ahead, trigger your mine. Uh, hopper mine? Yeah. That's. Right. I thought the purples were uh, the Krakens and the blues were the hoppers. I don't know what any of these are. No, purples are your hoppers. Okay. Hopper mine. Uh, okay, that's only 25. <laughs> okay. Three pen on that. But it is a 10 meter radius when it explodes. That's true, so... a oh, 10 meter? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Wasn't nice. It, well, isn't that what you, uh, how you described it? Or was yeah. it a 1 meter radius? I think 10 meters would be the better. Well, of course 10 is the better, but... <laughs> I don't remember how uh, what he was describing, but I thought I heard a 10 meter radius. I think I heard a 10 meter radius, too. The same. Hopper That'd mine is five. blast one. I don't know what blast one means. Oh, blast one usually, uh, the one means it's a one meter radius, so it's just that one guy then. Okay. Okay. All right. So, he's hurt, uh, Mon but he's still alive. Uh, a lot of conflicting information then. Yeah, right. Is it say it hits him? Because blast X. Uh, yeah, the, the lever mine specifically says he detects bio signs within five meters and they leap up roughly two meters and spray it at ten meters. Across with vicious clouds of shrapnel. So are these leaper mines yeah, or hopper mines? A single meter. So, it's, so it's five from the center. So it, it's going to hit. Weird. It's going to hit this. It's going to hit everything no, around. No, 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 no. So, ten meter radius, not ten meter diameter. No. Bio signs within ten meters, within five meters, and then they spray in a ten meter area. Yeah. So ten meters from the point of origin. Okay. But that's weird because blast one, yeah, I mean, it has only one, one meter would only be the ones hit. But if it's hitting everything in a 10 meter radius, and everything in a, it should be blast 10. That might be a typo. 
on their part. Yeah, I'll I'll just put in blast ten because if it explicitly says that, then that's the blast radius. Yeah, the description says ten, so the blast X should be ten as well. So it would trigger if an enemy is five meters away, and then it would blast ten, and then there would be an airburst effect. Uh, it's kind of that is kind of sick. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that mine's dead. Uh, that's all those guys all got. Tools took a bunch of damage. Yeah, that's fine. I know it's fine. They it's all great. ate shit. <clears throat> Heck, let's see. Now I think you just see the second part and die. Except for the hive tyrant, he just uh, he just sits there. Yeah, he probably didn't take any damage. Which, no. <laughs> How much armor does he have? I don't a know lot. for you to find out. For you to find out. More than three. <laughs> yeah, definitely more than three. Do you think Heavy Bolter will uh, scratch it? Probably, yeah. Okay, uh, this Hive Tyrant is going to go straight. Go ahead, trigger that mine. This Hive Tyrant? Is it no, called a Hopper tyrant. Mine or a Leaper Mine, just for the record? Damn. This took yeah. his Hive, this is... hive Tyrants. Well, these orange ones are your, uh, um... Jerry rig mine, so that's still a grenade. That's, that's oh, that was a dud. Well, yeah, a dud it's, mine. Also, it's the Jerry rig mine. Here's the thing, Kobler. The hopper mine doesn't have a description, and the lever mine doesn't have a stamp block, so I'd assume they're the same mine. That's super I, weird. Yeah. So well, the uh, the bolter with selector fire doesn't have it a a listing in the weapons either. Okay, so... I assume but, it's the Godwin Bolter. Selector Fire does have its own thing. However, one, two, there's the big problem is because there's no standard Bolter. Right, so well, this one... I think the Godwin is the standard Bolter. Gotcha. Because the Stalker is the uh, the long-range sniper variant. Mm. Great, another dud mine. So I think the Galter's the standard version, or the Godwin. All right, that last one is uh, the mine that that guy walked into, Boko. 20. Okay, yep. he's dead. He's dead. Everything around him is dead. So that's one, two, three, four guys that moved. The fire selector, I think, is just a mod that you put on a weapon. Yeah, it just allows you to select different ammunition without having to reload. You're in cover, so you should get some protection from this mine, right? I imagine, I hope. Uh, me too, Let's yeah. Let's see if he's even in range. No. It's his okay, 10 cool. meter radius. Alright, I'm going to trigger it again. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, but yeah, he's, he's the only one that died. Threads. He's the only one that died. So are these guys moving sequentially, or are they all, like, moving at the same time? Sequentially. Yeah. Okay. So, they're not moving at the same time. Because so they're doing tactics. Correct. One okay. will go, die in the mine. Another one will come, going to mine. So that's See, like, if he went in a straight line, then he probably hits his purple mine first. One around it. Or, you think... Uh, oh, let's, let's, see. let's see, he came from here. They do trigger five meters away from them, so... Oh, uh, okay, so he triggered it. This guy would have triggered this purple mine. Already. You're right, you're right, he triggered it. Alright, so it's that... Alright, we'll Wait, keep the damage. I mean, on the top... So he triggered that first This warrior mine. Uh, is triggered three mines already? No, it, it'll trigger. I'm assuming your mines are smart enough not to go all boom at once. Yeah. 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 Considering yeah. these ones are shrapnel mines, they probably won't set off the other ones at all. Okay, so that's... Go do your damage for that mine. It's a... I already did. It? It's a latest What's damage it? roll. 28. 28. 28. <sighs> Brothers, they appear to be using tactics. They're smart. They're not all charging in at once. Hey, I think that was five guys. Okay, they make us go. That was their turn. They spent their turn blowing up mines. Move back to the west bunker and shoot at the dragon here. Okay. Hellfire rounds. 
Please use Hellfire rounds. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna need Hellfire rounds, but I loaded with a regular bolter. Okay. Because he does have natural armor. Let me see, and he has bonded armor. What is that? The heck is Let me look it up. Armor. I think your thing would ignore that. Bondage armor? Oh no, he's one of those kind of tyrannies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an asshole. Uh, bot, no, hold on. You're... Uh, let's, let's not bring assholes into this. They might get excited. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Bonded exoskeleton is what the thing is. That's natural armor. Sweet. Okay, let's oh, call right, it. Right. Yeah, ignore it. Proceed to ignore it. So, uh, thank God you have that, because... Uh, well, if you use your regular bulk gun, you can use your Hellfire and ignore it. Or yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm using the Hellfire rounds. Okay. Come on, a fire. Uh, he's massive, so... What was that, a plus 20 off that? And plus, so, plus 60? He's hard to, he's hard to miss. Yeah, it sounds about right. Ooh. Oh yeah! Nice. Unfortunately, though, it's still only just four hits. Yeah. Okay. Do your damage. Absorb. Absorb. And. Okay, I'll fire. Fire. I still got hellfire. That's yeah. correct. Uh, so so five. Another. Four ignores all four. natural armor with hellfire, right? Even yeah. with penetration. Yep. It, uh, it, it includes penetration. Uh, will still further reduce armor. His wounds at. Um, but, you know, make sure you roll your 4d10s, because Hellfire is Righteous Fury on 9s and 10s. Hey! Well, that's Ooh. at least two extra shots we got. So you get two extra damage rolls. Two extra damage? Yep. So that second one, that was a critical success. Plus you got another tens. 10 there from the Righteous Fury. Right, but, uh, you only well, actually. Got... Oh shit! That one was two tens. Yeah, it was. It was. Ten oh, yeah, right, but we determined sure. before that uh, Rice is free only procs once on each hit. Okay. Uh, because otherwise, I would have gotten an extra two damage rolls on my last attack. But we decided at that point that Rice is free is only proc once each hit. Then he so, still gets another damage roll. Uh, right. Well, no, he he did his two, and then yeah. uh, and then that's it. That's all hey. the damage he uh, dished out. But, wait. That so first nine is going to replace that first hit. That second yeah, nine can't he, he replace right the two fury on nines and tens, right? Yeah. Anything? Uh, uh, what's over twenty, by the way? Okay, so I mean, each of those nines would have been an extra hit, and then one of those so, ten would have been an extra. So hit, those right? nines, that second nine, would be for the second hit, which is two tens. Gotcha. So that nine is meaningless. Right. Okay. So he effectively got righteous fury on two hits. Okay. So. So your four, his four damage is coming in. What what are the numbers for the four four damages coming in? Uh, well, how much are we reducing armor by? Uh, twenty, just by his pure toughness. So his <laughs> regular toughness is twenty. Yeah, that's that's correct. And so that minus is, the five, so that's fifteen reduction after his body armor. It's after gone. His natural armor. Yeah, that's correct. His, if his natural armor's Roughly 10. Or actually, not 10. Not roughly, it is 10. So that would have been 30. Like 11 first, damage. The first four shots in total is 71, including the rolls I made. But we okay. need to roll them differently. Yeah, we need, they need to be it's individual. Independent. So, it's 12. It's 12 15, damage? It's 15 That's, minus everything. So that first one's not even doing 12. Well, he replaces, he replaces the two with the nine, so that's seven more on that. So, nine. so that's 19, so that's four damage. Yeah. Okay, minus four. Okay. All right. The second yeah, one be ten. Uh, is, what, 10 damage? Yeah, it should be 10. Yeah. Hey, okay. Man, you guys hurt a lot. One. Uh, and then okay. nothing. Uh. Okay, cool. Well, no, no. The the third one will do one damage. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, one oh, okay. and then nothing. Four, ten, one, and nothing else. Yeah, and then nothing else. Yep. So 15 total 15 points total of damage. damage. Yep. Rounds, what would I use for this? Uh, Kraken. No, how, many, how many rounds did I just used up? Oh, like, oh that's six. 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 And they all hit the head, by the way. 
because that's, that's the the role oh. that. Oh. Am I a marksman? <laughs> armor is the same all the way around. Ah, oh, curses. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all the way around. It even but says on the little, little thing. He is, and he's also going to be very, very deadly when he comes to smack. Oh. He's the one that uh, ch uh, chapter captains are the ones that might be able to win against. Can I roll for like Zeno's knowledge to see how much fucking max health he has? Can I roll for Zeno's knowledge to see how your much max one, health? Your character wouldn't have a knowledge as to say, oh, this guy has fifty-three points, but he wouldn't know what okay. that is. He can deduce by looking at how injured it is, right? Oh, it looks pretty beat up, right? So yeah, okay. you have, okay, Also, I don't know how well that would really work with uh, all the swarms constantly changing their biology. Okay. You know, so, sure, this, this one swarm lord or uh, one hive tower it might have, like, 50 HP, but then the next one might have 72. Right. But less armor. So, how does he look right now, since... All those shots were in the head. Uh, fairly, yeah, fairly unfazed by what you did. Annoyed, he he's he's looking right at you. Oh boy, I'm in the bunker. <laughs> They'll protect me. The first person that this guy touches is gonna get uh, blood misted. <laughs> Just FYI. Oh. Uh, well, God. I essentially injured a volcano. <laughs> okay, so it's the guardsman's turn. Luck, we have Tyrant. to survive for Good 13 luck. rounds with this hive tyrant. Uh, 10 more. 10 more hey, rounds. Uh, but if you, uh, uh, I will let you know, if you do kill the hive tyrant, it will end <laughs> this end this swarm around you immediately. That's, that's, that's what I'm okay. thinking. That's, yeah, that's true, yeah. It did hurt it. Yeah, that, that, that 25 did a lot of damage. Brothers, the hive tyrant can bleed too. Let's take him down together. Yeah, from both rounds, maybe. And maybe from the two-handed Ripper Claymore. Does our captain still have the Hellfire rounds? Three bullets left. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. But I have Kraken rounds, which will reduce armor by eight. It's not as good as the uh, Hellfire, so he'll have a all... seventeen reduction on my Kraken round shots. But just remember, still... we should all focus on the. Just high remember, you have fate points when you're dodging his attacks. Yes. I just want you guys to know, I literally can't damage that Hive Tyrant if I try. Okay. Okay, we'll back up and uh, shoot at other things. <laughs> so, uh, both those rhinos yeah. are going to fire at that uh, Hive Tyrant there. Both those uh, rhinos missed dramatically. Yeah, they missed dramatically. Um, wait, wait. He's a big target. Oh, that's right. So he would get... They Hold up, let's see. What, I mean, the first one still misses, but that second one definitely should hit. I mean, that's a 96. Yep. I think it does a bit more than miss, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah the gun, yeah, the gun is jammed. So you're like, ah, it's jammed, jammed. That's all you hear. So <coughs> he's going to roll for damage. It does nothing. <laughs> Pounces oh. off him. Or, uh, uh, it's four, ta four damage, right? Off these things. Uh, five penetration, so. Yeah, five Whatever that uh, does to its exoskeletal armor. Without but the, uh, remember, these aren't it's health got 30 fire. armor, though. It has a 30 to overall damage reduction. Uh, five pens. So, so it's anything. 25. Anything above 25 does damage. So it's oh. three damage. Yeah, it's three damage total. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh no. That's like, uh. That's okay, jump that, change. That's. Anyways, yep. All right. Try one thing. So your uh, your heavy bolter guys on the ground. You gonna, I'm assuming you're ordering them to fire this fucker too, right? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. What's their ballistic skill at? Thirty. For that. As heavy bolter than this guy. I'll just use imagine, the imagine that if we had to survive 20 rounds. <laughs> that was a possibility. No. Yeah, because he oh, rolled a 1d20. So those two guys on this far end, they shoot at the thing. Uh, miss. Another one hits. One more. Yeah. Ooh, Righteous Fury. 
Right. No damage, but righteous fury. I'm, I'm, just still, I'm still not 100% why it has hey, to be ooh, 125. That's a little bit. Another four. So he has 30 it's, armor, it's armor, right? He has 30 right. armor. Penetration 5 reduces that by 5. So he has 25 armor. So he's reducing all his damage by 25 points. Yep. So, so that fire last would have one is four. All it's like, Hellfire it's, ignores 10 of it. Yep. Of his armor. He still has 20 toughness. It's, it says here it ignores natural armor, so right. help. Yeah, but not 10 toughness. of his 30 armor is it's, natural armor. The other 20 is his toughness value. Oh, snap. His toughness is 20 yeah. just by its pure self. Our penetration still affects that value. So on Hellfire rounds, it's... Anything above 15 does damage, but on regular rounds, anything above 25 does damage. Right. Hey, Ans Ansius, go. Cool. Well, uh, awesome. Well, good luck, uh, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to move over. Do you have Hellfire rounds to deal anything to this guy? Well, I have three Hellfire rounds left, but I also have Kraken rounds, which is a pin eight. So while not as good as... Hellfire, it's still better than regular shots. You might be able to kill him if you're able to do enough damage. You, you do a lot of chain, chaining. How does he look um, now yeah. after getting... Right, but I gotta get over there first. So, uh, we, we need we need luck to be on our side <laughs> right now. He's looking Lady a little hurt. Yeah, he, he, well, little, little, uh, worse for wear. Well, hopefully he was uh, damaged a lot from... Um, from uh, Domingo, from defenses. yeah. He... Well, from defenses. Domingo, not Domingo. Oh. Domingo. Uh, Say it anyway. with me. Domingo. Anyways, uh, oh, Antius, go. Do my free 10 foot move. Fortunately, it does not bring move in half range. Uh, but I'll do a full auto burst anyway. The th first three hits will be Hellfire. Everything after that will be Kraken if I do hit him at all. He is massive, so you get the plus 20 right there. Did you move the squad 10 meters plus half move? Well, if I, uh, I did my, your my squad, squad bonus. What is your squad bonuses again? Did you have active? Move. Okay. Um, anyway. So, uh, 24... Full auto, plus another twenty because he's a big boy. Unfortunately, I don't get another twenty uh, or another ten for half range. Oh my god! Fate pointing that. <laughs> Remember when he fate pointed add another plus ten to the roll? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Right. Oh. So he's, he's absorbing 20, 22 of whatever your damage is then, if you have pin 8. Alright, so... Uh, I do get some Righteous Furies in there, but... The first three Righteous Fury on 9s and 10s. And I do have a 9 in the first one. You do? So that's two more Righteous Furies. Yeah, the first one has a 9 in it. It's plus four, four, plus nine, plus five for damage see, rolls. So. I see eight, four, five, six. So the first no, damage no, no. roll was a four damage. and a nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> the four will be replaced with an eight. Okay. So but, add four. But I I got two extra damage rolls first. Wait. Uh, and these are the... Well, these are just now Kraken rounds that are hitting. But that's another Righteous Fury. Uh, but first, let me see if uh, I can get a ten on that. First one there, no, but that is another Righteous Fury hit, so... Oh. One and a six. Your bullets are sad. I'm just gonna roll that, it's just the first one. Okay, cool. So the first three are... Let me, let me do the math and I'll just get it to you. Yeah, please do. Alright. So... Uh, because it's 15 for those. Cool, cool. <clears throat> it's 
whatever you got mine is 13 because it's eight with the kraken rounds and then another five well it's 20 damage so far with the hellfire everything else now is 17 reduced on everything else okay got it so that's gonna be two damage <laughs> that one uh no replacement so that's absorbed uh, that's another three damage. Uh, all right, so five. Five more. Oh, man, usually you're chaining off. I was like, I was like man, he's going to chain off and just one-shot this guy. Well, I think all that's right. still 25 damage, because I did 20 with the Hellfire, and then an additional five with the Krakens. He did how much damage total? Uh, 25. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's hurting pretty bad then. Karnoff. Here you go. Uh, so, this is the talent description of the talent I have, which is called Frenzy. It says that I get plus 10 bonus to weapon skill, strength, and toughness. Does that Wait. go straight to my uh, stats? Or does it go to my uh, checks? Your checks. Your checks. Hey, my checks. Yeah, yeah, any checks you have, you, you add plus 10. Because it's not, yeah, do that. Usually what it is. Very well. Then I spend a full turn trying to, uh, well, getting frenzied. Okay. You guys hit pretty damn hard, I'll tell you that much. Chipping away at this big beastie thing. Yeah, yeah, all your fire has been focused on this guy, everyone, so But that will be literally the end of end of the end of the session and end of the the mission once you kill end him. End of the threat, yep. Yeah, yeah, cause anything within oh, let me see within a certain radius will automatically just die. Nice. And everything else just turns stupid again. Yep, that psychic backlash, yo. Now we yeah. are we are the emperor's finest, so oh, yeah. this should yeah, not yeah. be a surprise that we're still wrecking this guy, even though he's well. A we're bastard. not really finest, but let's leave it at that. I mean, well, we're we're yeah. pretty up there. We're Death Watch Space Marines. So they'll break him. We are his finest warriors. So basically, everyone in this area will flee, is what it says. Will willpower bonus times ten meters. Yeah, the willpower bonus times ten meters. That if they don't have fearless or synapse creature trait. They automatically break and flee. So the whole army will flee <laughs> as soon as this guy's dead. Hey. Okay. So whose turn is it? Uh, it's Karnoff. I spend my turn fueling my range. That's it. That's it. My turn. Okay. Neil Tyron. Hold up one moment. I'm AFK. But it's your turn. Oh, no. I wasn't expecting my Maybe. turn to come up this quickly. All right. I'm back. Um, I mean, the description of my thing does say it's just flat out bonus to my stats, not my check. I don't know. I'm gonna do what everyone else has been doing, and I'm gonna shoot at this fucker. Seems like a good choice. So, I'm gonna go ahead and full auto my Stardust Bolter with Fire Selector, and I believe my two hit roll is plus 60 total, right? Is that what we're going with? If you're doing full auto, if you're within half range, and the big boy. All right, uh, let me double plus, check plus to make sure I'm... Filled, then yes. I mean, you'll bear a scratch, but go ahead. Yeah, you're you're easily within half range from where you are. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, wait. Now, this he's is got no me. cover. Yeah. Either way. But, every, yeah, everything targeted him, so... All right. That's pretty, pretty crazy. Plus 60, submit... So I get one hit, right? That's two hits. 
Yeah, and I used the stats from the book. That's just crazy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, never mind. The wound. Okay. Yeah, every degree of success is an extra hit. Got it. And gonna Eight. roll 2d10. This first one, I'm gonna swap the. So, what's that? Gonna swap the eight for a nine, so Does that's gonna be. Five. Yeah, it's it's still not great. I'm just using regular bolter rounds. Then the second one, yeah, still not enough to deal any damage. Hold on, even at full ten, if both dice were tens plus our five is twenty five, that's still not enough to get past his armor. Okay, so so shoot at something else. <laughs> Well, I already used my turn yeah, to figure I know, that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Brothers, I can't get through his armor. It's too tough. Plink, 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 plink. All the bolts around shatter against uh, this thing's armor. Harmlessly. Wonderful. We can throw, we can throw crack grenades, whatever remaining we have. I think we use them all yeah, for our mines. Yeah, we for mines. It's a mess of deal. Here you go. Yeah, Kraken Aids would have a chance of actually doing damage. Yeah, oh, because the other day wouldn't actually be mine, or is that in the mines as well? Well, I guess I'll uh, let loose a flamethrower burst on these dudes over here. All right, go for it. Well, they just got to make dodge rolls. Yep. Okay. Rolls. So let me get the warrior. So it's agility so roll. Just roll their seventy stat dodge uh, dodges. Well, they don't have seventy. Uh, the warrior has forty. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me get the hammer gun. And yeah, the warrior's on fire then. And then you hit. Oh, let's see. It. One, two, three, four. Four of those Hermagons. Oh my god, that had to be just Yikes. garbage. Do you want to do Fade Point to re-roll it? I've only got one left. One, two, three. I can three. spend a Fade Point on you if you want. I have all three of mine. I don't think you can re-roll damage. Okay. Or, as a, as a Fade Point, you can re-roll anything, I think. We're, 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 we're at uh, 11 rounds left, right? No dropships here. Yeah, and unless we kill the big bastard. Then that's our win well, condition. At what round did the big guy show up? First or second round? Second round. Second round. Okay, so then we have 11 rounds left, yeah. Yep. Including this one. Yeah, Karnoth is keeping track of it for Well, us. I'm the start of a new round. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We have 11, which includes this one. So how much damage does the deal to that? Ah, oh, he's just dead. Never mind. He didn't have much HP at all, so one of the Hermagons is just freaking outright dead. Okay. Barbecued. Nice. Barbecued. Oh, right. That was the one that got hit by that grenade. Or that uh, landmine. Yep. Or one of them triggered a landmine and dealed a bunch of damage to everyone else. Yep. Those smoldering hermagons smell delicious. Too bad eating Thanks. of their flesh is heresy. Stop smelling the hermagons and shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hive tyrant. Let Don't get distracted, brother. Lay waste. Orders received, brother. Okay, so as a half action, he can use a psionic power. Uh, he doesn't have to, though. Oh, but he is. Let's see. But he doesn't have to. But he is. The GM has spoken. Psionic scream. So... But no, he's not that one. Let's do that. He can't hit you with that anyways. Remember the bugs uh, are smart. Oh, it's crazy. He screamed into one of his buddy's ears and their heads exploded. Oh, that's <laughs> a weird thing for this high parent to do. So strange. Buddy, no. Uh, he's going to use the horror as a half action. The high tyrant may unleash a wave of horror that gnaws the results of its enemy. Power may use the, within the kill team within 75 meters. So uh, any all within 75 meters you can target this. I am immune to fear. Plus, plus That's NPC. Everybody. By the way, any of those guys that failed uh, their agility roll have to do a second agility roll or 
take three damage that just bypasses their armor every That's... round until they put out the fire. Yeah, he's already dead. The only one caught on fire, I think, and he died. Both ones failed. Four of them failed, yo. Yeah, man. Oh. Okay, so they're, they're all... The four. The first one failed, and then another three on the second group failed. Okay, so we got a lot dead. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I mean it was light damage, really. So, Ten yeah, total. Yeah, 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 it's still enough to kill those bastards. Anyways, uh... So you guys take a will will pet will power test minus 30, 30 modifier. Everyone, you have to make a check to even get the test off. Uh, let's see. I don't think he does. There's the C. He, he could peril. Monstrous uh, Tyranid Psyker. Hive Tyrant is a Psyker, but the power is drawn upon the power of Hive Mind rather than distinct from the nation of the war. Because of this, he does not need to test to use just psionic powers. Very well. And they never suffer psionic phenomenon or perils of the warp. Very well then. And he can only use one per turn. Per turn. One per turn. That's what it says. Is one. it a full action? Or? Half action. So he gets to do something else after this. Oh, gosh. Only half well, action. Something, uh, only a half action. Like, move. Yeah, uh, that's what he's going to do. So I'm trying not to um, murder mm -hmm. y'all. I'm trying to. Bonuses to willpower for being space marines? Do you get bonuses? To, so it's a. I don't know. I'm trying see. to find the freaking stats that. Because this is a, it's a minus. It's off the top, it's just a minus thirty modifier. So anything you have bonuses to willpower, you can take that. I think you had fearless and some other stuff in there. Right. Um, uh, we do have nerves of steel. I'm not sure what that entails. I do have. Uh, we do have resistance and psycho psychic powers. So I'm gonna do. do. Uh, nerves of steel and psychic power resistance. So your guardsmen. What are the bonuses from that? Okay. Your yeah, your guardsmen. I want. I want to do a couple rolls for them. Uh, they're all. I want to assume. With just the uh, what just happened here, all of them are breaking. So I'll do. I'll do five rolls, and the whole company will break, and run to that bunker. Oh God. Okay, Nerves of Steel, the character, may, the character may re-roll any failed willpower tests to avoid or recover from pinning. Hang on, Boca, what are you rolling for willpower right now? You're willing. You're rolling the willpower of the uh, Imperial Guard? Imperial Guards. Space Marine. Imperial Guard, yeah, all, the, all the All right. Space Marine guys. Sorry, so, guards. Yeah, the, the Ogren, so anyone within 75 meters of him, they broke. So, I do not think, yeah, your tanks are fine... Uh, these guard basically all these guardsmen are are fucked. They have nowhere to go. Okay, we have workers. a plus ten to the willpower roll. Okay. So minus twenty. So minus twenty. Yeah, minus uh, twenty. Are we all just so, rolling straight up willpower right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's right. no uh, skill. Ooh, I made it. <laughs> I failed. Uh, yeah, oh, you're running God. in terror. You're running in terror, guys. So I want you guys to I mean, turn. Get the flea. I will. I will make the roll, but I am immune to fear because I of my frenzy at the uh, moment. I nice. want to point out that I rolled a ninety-seven. That's like hey, I fucked up. Yeah. yeah, you did. And you lose one cohesion point of damage per member that fails the test. Oh, so, I mean, does does this count as pinning? By the way, doesn't say that. Mm -hmm. Just the psionic yeah, power. Like yeah. Is willpower? We have ability to uh, reroll failed willpower tests for pinning. Mm -hmm. Is it specifically pinning? It says specifically it pinning. Like so what does does it what does it specifically do then? Is just like instills fear okay. into people. Uh, long years on the battlefield enable the characters to remain calm as fire impacts all around them. The character may reroll failed willpower tests to avoid or recover from pinning. Yep. So it's specifically pinning. So pinned down by fire, you can just ignore that, I guess. Yes, yeah, uh, but... I'm asking what this psychic screech was. It's just it was it's, for it's a psionic power. It's yeah. it's <laughs> it is it's literally your your we're your not guys. being pinned down by gunfire. We're being you're... assaulted psychically. Yeah, by fear, just raw terror. He's roaring in your guys' face, just like mm. like holy fucking shit, basically. Being... Yeah. Squad broken. It's, it's... Yeah, so technically, so technically, I should be immune to that. It's a lot of emotional damage. What is your guys' 
Uh, Leaf damage? What? The enigmatic black shield marine is somehow immune to this. He is frenzied, so he's... I'm frenzied. Right now. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. He's immune Raising. to fear, pinning, and stunning effects. Okay, so yeah, he is... He could care less. His guy could care less. Okay. So, and then he's going to move... Oh, uh, he's... He's the... He's a quick boy, 42. Holy jeez. So he's gonna he's gonna come stomping in through the main gates here. Stomp all that, that barricade. Okay. Oh boy. And that will be <clears throat> let's see. I think that uh that's a big boy. I'm gonna let be fair and let you guys go. I could do all six guys, or I could just do one big boy. <laughs> Domingus, go. So, Aren't we falling back to the bunker now? now. Cause uh, whoever, ha whoever had Fearful is uh, running for their lives, so you're not going to be able to fire or anything. So basically That's... everyone but me and Karnoff, then. Well, I'm not in the bunker, so went. what do I do? You're going to hide in a corner. Here. You're going to hide in a corner down. or something like that. Uh, some, uh, you're going to get away from this monster as far as you can. Hang on, so I started out here. How do you how do you get out of fear? Is it just a willpower save? I don't know. Yeah, you can just save it. You just do it every turn. Yeah, let's see. Let's let's look. Fear and damnation. Fear. Fear comes into effect when a person in actual horror, but a PC is confronted by this thing. Willpower test. No matter how frightening. If they pass the test, then we continue. Otherwise it comes to fear. Page 276. 276? Okay. Yeah. Oh, the actual page, on not the PDF page. So 278 on the uh, PDF. Yep. yep. For the number in the top. Um, if in a combat situation they fail a fear test, he must immediately roll on the shock table, adding 10 for every degree of failure they made. Oh my Just god. Do that. And that, and it's, uh, you roll a d100. Fuck. Adding 10 for every, uh, degree of failure. And, and that's what happens to you. So it's not okay. you run away, it's just whatever the shock table says. Sure, let's do that. So we're all rolling a 1d100? Oh, wow. Oh my uh, Oh my god. So Action. how many, you fill it by 3 degrees, so that's 34. So you, uh, Dominego, uh, fear grips the character and he begins to shake and tremble. Uh -huh. You have minus 10 on all tests for the rest of the encounter. Unless you can recover your wits, uh, she is shocked and snapping out of it on page 278, which is the next page. We'll get to that in a moment. Oh my god, 134. Yeah, I, I laugh maniacally and start hacking at anything near me. Yep. You're kind of fitting for a blood angel. <laughs> It la yeah, it, it does. Uh, it lasts until the character snaps out of it, or until he's knocked unconscious. Oh, Should man. Should either of these scores oh, ever God. reach 100, the character is either slain or fails from grace and becomes an enemy to the Imperium. Oh, my God. Minus 70 plus oh, those are 70, insane, so 140. Uh, yep. Tyron, you're doing the same thing as uh, our Blood Angel Apothecary is. Okay, because it's 70 plus 50, right? So I'd be at, like... You failed by 7. Uh, okay. Oh, you did. Yeah. But I didn't do plus 50. Moth did plus 50. Yeah. What is that? I see filled by five. Uh huh. You're doing plus you, 70. You add 70 to yours. So you're 100. Yeah, it's, you add 10 to this roll for every degree that you failed. Okay, so it's 140. 140. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you're. Is, uh, which is the same as uh, our blood, blood angel friend. So you laugh maniacally and start hacking at anything nearby you with the weapon you have currently used. And that's after I ran away from this fucker? Or am you I still run. over there? You didn't you run. run. Okay, You're attacking got everything it. in sight, so attack you go near berserk and start attacking everything. Attack so, anything near you. So I'm going to attack... The rest of steel? The closest person. Hold on. Characters no. may be able to shake off some of the effects of fear at the initial shock as one-off specified on the shock table. I don't even know where the hell Sylvester Zeal is right now. Literally next to the tyrant. 
Well, this Ogryn is kind of in our way right now, so I'm going to attack him with my combat knife, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, actually, All right. I think you'd be meleeing with your pistol. So, but, after your turn, though, and every turn, you can try and snap out of it by just making another willpower test. I'm just going to... Any gonna, modifiers with that, then? Or no, just, no modifiers on it. Just a regular test. I'm just going to roll, I'm gonna roll to hit on the Ogryn. Yep. Okay, so degrees of success. <laughs> All right, I did 17 nice. with two pen to the Ogryn. He's dead. You shouldn't have gotten the But now you can make a willpower test to try and snap out of it. Okay, well, I'll do that. In his turn, in his turn right? Uh, yeah, because it's after the turn. initial it's shot turn. has passed. I think since it happened this turn, he can't roll. Uh, it says... And, well, this effect lasts until the character snaps out of it. Right, so I'm going to allow... I'm gonna, as snapping a, out of it is just a willpower do, test on your turn. Okay, yeah, so okay. do, do I allow willpower test says, now? Characters may be able to shake yep. off some of the effects of fear after the initial shock has worn off where specified on the shock table. Right, so he does a full round of whatever the shock is and then tries to save out of it. Yep, for next round. So go ahead. And next round, when it starts, he gets to make the willpower save. All right, got it, got it. Well, at the end of this round and beginning of the next, does it really matter? Yeah, right, so just make it, dude. Okay, I'll do it. We'll have to remember. Oh. At the end of the round, do your, do your crazy nonsense and then uh, try to snap out of it. All right. Four degrees of success. Hey, you're, you're like, oh, God, I stabbed a... No, I, 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 I'm like, oh, dear Lord, what have I done to this poor Ogren? Emperor, so forgive me. Yeah, so the guardsmen, I don't... Uh, we'll just do one roll for them, so... How, sure. how, how, Take the average how, of their failure, then? So, let's see, they failed by... I got a critical success on that, what the fuck? They got a 10, <laughs> so they got, uh, what was that, plus 100? So I'll average it out to 6. So, so what, a D100 plus 60. So what do all these bastards do? 100. 100, huh? Uh, oh, fainting dead away, the character kneels over and remain unconscious for 1d5 rounds. <laughs> oh, shit. Once they gain consciousness, uh, he is still shaken and takes a minus 10 test until the end of the encounter. There you go. They're all unconscious. <laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, except for the guys by the machine gun turrets. Good. You guys so, yeah, we'll cool. just say they're... They're sleepy, the, the only ones that could maybe damage him. Yeah, oh, they're by all. By the way, Boko, is this Hive Tyrant engaged in melee with me? Uh, not yet. It's right. it's it's just at the barricade, crushing yeah. it. So. Because I have fear one to anything engaged in melee with me. No, he walked. He walked up to you. Uh, after he did his little roar, psychic power bullshit. Wait, so what just happened to my turn? I just got snapped out of it, or...? Your guy is going to kill the closest thing to him, if I remember correctly. No. No? No, oh, you're... his was, you just suffer... you're just suffering a minus 10 in all your tests. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, shoot, sorry. You're... Yeah, and then I just did willpower, and I managed to snap out no. of it. No, no, no. Specifically, that... you can't snap out of it. That Yours takes just, effect. You have minus 10. That yeah, takes so effect ahead. after your turn. After you do your turn. Yeah, so oh, yeah, you. yeah, at the very right. least at the end of the turn, yeah. Yeah, somehow he skips over you can here. recover your wits. It still says you can recover his wits, see the snapping out of it. So I can do something. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. You, you have your full turn. You're just at minus 10 on whatever you do. Okay. Yeah. That makes more... Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I'll use the bolter... I'll use my Hellfire rounds again against the dragon thing. I mean, you got left. 17 rounds. Okay, cool. So, and my, so it'll be my, plus 50, right? Since I lose my, 10. Yep. Nice. That's still four hits. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Those hellfires? Yeah. Yeah. All right. But it looks like he absorbs oh, oh, God. Oh. Those damage rolls are garbage. Right, so that's one. 
three, so four. Uh, Anything get through? Uh, four damage. Nice, you tickled him. Four damage. And that's something. Yep, that is something. something. And that's what, four, five, how many rounds? Oh, I still haven't gone yet. Four. <laughs> um, four rounds. So the mercenaries. Whoa. They're yeah, they're gonna fire at him. So they're gonna get it. Was it? Was uh, sixty? And plus. Oh, the other one's jammed, so he spends a half action on jamming. Takes a full action to fire, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he unjammed, and they're just gonna stay there and look at him. Uh, Righteous Fury, so he gets to do the thing again. It's just one damage, one additional damage. Hey, that's one damage, but Righteous oh. Fury. Okay, so one damage. Uh, out of all that, he did one damage, even with yep. one five. It's thirty. Yeah. Yeah, one damage. Damn, this guy's a tough son of a bitch. Oh man, <laughs> this does not bode well. You just gotta survive. That's funny. Neil Tyron, go. Okay, so I just snapped out of. Uh... Wait, well, wouldn't he have just murdered an ogre? Yeah. Yeah, I did that on my last turn, and then I snapped well, then I out of it. I didn't go again. Oh, yeah, Antius, go. I think yeah, maybe we skipped somebody. I yeah, somehow. I think we skipped a few people. Yeah, because yeah, right. I don't think the apothecary went either. I started the turn before the tyrant did his spear thing. Yeah, he did the before that. thing. Right. Yeah. So, Antius, go. Okay. Uh, can I see him over this bunker? He is a big boy. Yes. Cool. The turn Have order ever. has me up, so you might want to increment it twice to get to Anseus. What's your what was your fear thing there, Anseus? Oh, I passed my test. Oh, you did. Okay, good. Yep, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, I'm the only one who passed. And we also have somebody who negated it by just being a badass. Me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, I'm going to shoot him with uh, Kraken rounds. Uh, Hang on, the turn order has me highlighted, so let's go to Anseus. Did uh, Karnoth move? Like, who got skipped? Um, I'm moving at the end of the turn. Yeah, because because Anseus, I okay. should act last, because I was technically the the last one. Wait, no, I I think I'm the last one. No, I'm. A, well, um, he, he I just moved the us in the turn order, but I'm pretty sure I was. I don't know. I don't remember. Well, I can go and then you can go. We're all in the same initiative order, so. Yeah, I th I think Kobler skipped ahead to his turn somehow. No yeah, worries. I don't know how that happened. Hold up. Yeah, I got it fixed. Yeah, uh, you are definitely last there, Ancius. All right. Go. Okay. So, uh, 20 for full auto, 20 because he's a big boy. Uh, open field. Well, it'd be half, co half cover because the bunker's in your way. Yeah. Yeah. The bunker oh, yeah. is okay, half yeah. cover. All right. So then, uh. He is, a, he is a big boy, but that bunker acts as half cover for him. Oh, my God. Fate roll again. How many have left? One? Uh. That was my last one. Okay. So do you want. Do you want Sweet. to share Fate? Yes. Yes. All right. Oh boy. Is that Kraken rounds? Oh uh, yeah, these are Kraken rounds. So it's every 17 and above is uh, is actual damage. So not the first one, not the second one, uh, but the third one will do uh, four points of damage. Better than nothing. Better oh. than the kick to the balls. You said 17 or 18, minimum. 
Uh, so with Kraken cool. rounds, it's everything above 17 damage. Okay. Because it's a... Oh, no, no, it's not. Because he would have 22, so never mind, I don't do any damage. Oh, oh. Boy. It's, Yeah, because it's only reducing his armor by 8. So it's every 22 damage and up uh, will hurt him. So I didn't do, didn't do anything at all. Pink, 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 pink. Oh, man. Okay, the rest of the will go. Did we skip somebody? Me. Oh, Karnoff, go. Uh, okay, so... Mm, all right, so we determined that the Frenzy gives me a bonus to my check and of my stat. So it would not yes. increase my melee damage. No. All right. It's uh, toughness and weapon skill, right? Toughness, weapon skill, and strength. Yes. Uh, strength, then it would increase damage slightly. So it would increase my damage. Yeah, yes. if it increases the modifier or uh, the tinge number strength, on your strength. I think yes. it's like uh, that's what I was asking. I think it's like affecting my stance directly. That's what I'm asking. Uh, what's what's the the skill? It, in the thing, I, I sent it in the Deathwatch channel. It's a frenzy. Also, does the size affect my uh, chance to hit in melee? Yeah. Or does it affect only the ranged? No, people. Plus twenty as well. He's just a big boy. He's like taking okay. your whole field of vision. Got it. I think with that strength, that just adds an extra three damage to whatever you do. Extra three damage. Okay. Yeah, because of the uh, unnatural whatever, so it's being multiplied by three. Or unnatural right, so strength. Extra, extra three it damage. Multiplied right. by one. Multiplied by. One. Okay. Uh, then, in that case, uh, since we have a squad mode ability to freely walk up to 10 meters, I walk up to Hive Tyrant. And wanna, uh, I use... Huh? Want to take a charge action? Maybe move 10 meters back and then charge at it? Uh, that way you get an no, extra actually. 10 to hit. And I think I would rather do two attacks instead. Oh, and okay. spend my full action to do two attacks. Fair enough. Uh, so... My first thing, uh, and like, uh, uh, since uh, we determined that the plus ten bonus to my strength increases my modifier by one more, so it's like four. Uh, oh yeah, it's just plus ten, plus ten to my head, right? And plus twenty, so plus thirty, right? So plus thirty. Right. Uh, I will reroll that as a part of my uh, hey. talent, Blade Master. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's a nice. Go for it. I hit. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, no, that's that's a hit. Um, that's gonna be my damage. Oh, it's since quite a lot of damage. Uh, t since that's staring as well, right? Yes. So I can do the one d ten. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm just letting you know they're there. Uh, damn. No. All right. So, uh, since he has an armor of thirty, so that's gonna be like uh, seven damage. Seven damage. Yeah. And, and then my second hit also hits, and that's gonna be six, six damage. damage. Seven plus six is uh, thirteen. Thirteen damage total. Quite a big hit. Yeah. Ow. This guy definitely hurts. Vroom, vroom, All right. So that's, so that's the deal. Go. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. 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 One moment. Sorry. One moment. Sorry. I forgot to do a 1 to 10. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. The rest of the deal. What are you doing? Well, I'm essentially frenzied and attacking the nearest thing, so I jump on top of this thing's back and start stabbing it. The nearest yeah. thing would be the, the giant demon thing. Let's see. Oh, well, Since you outnumber it, you have a if he is the, the biggest I'm thing sure. directly in front of him, and, yeah. and the most immediate thing in sight. I, I have one thing in my cone of vision. Here, here's another thing. This guy is huge too, so it'll be the first thing he sees. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you okay, have plus twenty because he's massive. Right. 
I can turn. Yeah, cool. because he's massive, and you have plus ten because you're outnumbering him, so he's at plus thirty. GM, forgive us for munchkining. For munchkining no, it's right fine. now. No, no, it's it's the uh, you're well, reading. I feel that if Carnof were like directly in front of uh, Sister Zeal, then yeah, absolutely. if you were in front of me, that would have been fine, but he was not. So you're jumping like a monkey on this thing's back, and you're trying to or kill it with your combat knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not going to do much. I'm, I'm laughing maniacally in a crazed haze. Uh, what do you think I could do? Climb? Is it climb? Yeah, do a climb. Let's see. Climb okay. to see if you can get up on it. Yeah. I think you should get a frenzy bonus for being insane. <laughs> plus, plus 20. So let's see. Is there a climb skill? I think there is. Yeah, there yeah. is. And failed. Oh, oh, so no. you, you, you try to climb up, you fall to the ground, and go ahead and do your stab anyways because you're pissed off. It's just a combat hey, oh, knife. Yeah. It's not going to do much. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> do it anyways. It can't do any damage. It's 1d10. So how much, like how much was the three. modifier? Or two. Plus 60. Plus 30. Oh, plus 60. Oh. Well, plus 60, that's if you're firing full auto with a bolter into an open yeah. field yeah, and half plus distance. Plus 30. He's meleeing it. Yeah, uh, okay. melee. Plus 30. he's in melee. Plus 30. 30. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. It's cool. That's cool. We don't do any damage oh. anyway. That's 95. 95. Uh, oh, God. It's one crazy. degree of failure. Right, it's since, only one degree. Yeah, but he's also crazy. So since you're crazy, instead of stabbing him, I you throw my knife at it. Now you stab yourself. So go ahead, deal damage. <laughs> what? Okay, no, I'm re-rolling that. Fuck that. Go for it. You can't damage yourself with the knife. You can't damage yourself. You can. You can. Uh, he's it. insane. He's, he's insane. So just roll the damage. You'll be fine. No, the knife yeah. breaks against the armor of this thing. He doesn't have a knife anymore. Well, yeah, I'm just the knife. It doesn't make sense to stab yeah. myself. Well, even if you're you stab insane. yourself, you're insane. You can't do enough damage to harm yourself. You think you are the Hive Tyrant? There you go, yeah, 6.8 you degrees him. of success. Okay, cool. Fuck, fuck your stab yourself roll. <laughs> Good. Do you damage. do nothing. What the hell? Almost did something. But not it's rending. Does rending oh, yeah, add also, anything? Since I'm now amazing. officially engaged in melee with this thing, it has fear one. All right. Termagons go. All right, you're done? Hang on, yep. Moth needs to do a willpower check. All right. Oh, yeah, do that real quick. Because I'm assuming you naturally would have hey, ran away. Hey! Yeah, I'm sure you're going to get out of this nonsense, right? Hey, LeMay. No. no, I'm literally a melee character. Oh, okay. Uh, So the higher... I was going to frenzy. I'm going to smack... It's going to smack Karnoth here. Goodbye, Karnoth. We knew thee well. Right. Remember, you have a dodge check. Actually, hold up. Let's see. Hold up. There's one ability he does that's actually really nice. That would actually help in this. So, remember, Karnoth, if shit hits a fan, you can dodge, and you can spend a fate point to re-roll your dodge. But oh, you hear his angry screaming. <laughs> And you guys are immune to the poison, so that it won't affect you at all. Which, thank goodness. Right. Yeah. But he's using claws that can, like, you know, cut through a land raider. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna... Actually, yeah, he's just gonna attack you. Because you kind of hurt him pretty bad. Uh-oh. 78 is his base... base. <laughs> yep, 78. That's... Yep. That's that's on, on the book. Oh, would you like to use a fate point to re-roll that? I have a fate point to do that, yes. Add another plus ten to your roll. We're just burning fate, fate point. points. Well, it doesn't matter. The that's the whole idea behind them. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna spend a fate point to save this poor sword. I I'll, I can't. I'll spend a fate point. Thank you. All right. As many as you want. Down to one fate points. Does that give me an extra 10, or is that just still the 10? I think it's still just plus 10. It's still just the 10. Plus 10 doesn't stack. Hey. Oh! Because otherwise it would have been uh, that much damage. Oh, Got it. Whip a pen cool. 6. Ooh. 
It would have been... Oh, man, that would have fucked you up. Hey. Wouldn't have killed you, but would have fucked you sideways. That would have uh, put me straight into uh, critical wounds. Yeah, hey. but remember, we have 20 armor and it's pen 6, so it would well, be reduced by 14. Well, some of us have 20 armor. I only have 19 armor on the body. Oh. And 17 everywhere else. So wait, it would have hit me... Garbage. It would have hit me in the... In the in the body, no, in my in 26. my left arm, left arm. Yeah, it's funny I nerfed this weapon a little bit too, because in the book it's like plus twenty two. Oh my um, god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pen three, but yeah, no, that like, sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His is plus twenty two. I made this plus I five, have, but with pen I would have six. Taken sixteen damage. I was taking sixteen damage. So it's three d ten plus twenty two. That's this guy's weapon normally. Uh, yeah, so he right. reduced it by 17. Holy shit. Yeah, so here's here's what his damage would be. Oh, not that. Sorry. Here's what his damage would be uh, as from the book. Holy fuck. Do you, do you, do you like my... Everybody. Right. Do you, uh, do you like my little modification instead? I, yeah. I think my modification uh, makes it a little more yeah, fair. Yeah, you're, you're, you're being very fair as a GM. Right, because that's being still... more than fair. My, my damage would still hurt, but it wouldn't kill you. <laughs> Okay. okay, so that's their turn. Uh, guardsmen, they're going to fire at this freaking guy. Well, hang on. Oh. So, so Karnoff's <laughs> parry, does that mean he did damage, or does that mean he just avoided No, he damage? didn't take any damage. Avoided. I didn't avoided take okay. Damage. He avoided okay. taking 33 to the face. Yeah. To the arm. To the Our arm. Uh, and, and he can attack only once, correct? Uh, he has multi arms, but I'm not sure if I can attack multiple times. So I'll double check. Ooh, Karnoth, do you have uh, fear effects from being in melee at all? I don't. I have a uh, my my power armor history is the strength be legend. Multiple arms. No, I just add the strength bonus. Oh, hold up. Hey, it'd been this real great to have some plasma weapons against this guy. Has swift or lightning attack talent. This trait increases the number of attacks they make with multiple attack actions by plus one with multiple arms. So he might get two hits. Uh, Jeez. Let, me let me double check. Are you fighting this guy at rank one? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no. You, you got this. But anyways, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's not going to do the multiple hits. He'd kill you. Uh... He does have swift attack, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, he did multiple hits. He oh, would man. do yeah. two of those. Um, so the guards are going to shoot at him. With their puny lads rifles? Uh, no, that's the the uh, rhino yeah, trucks. That's all, have, well, that's all that's up. Actually, no, you have a couple of bolter guys. I forgot about these bolter guys. The damage you have on the table there. So... They're not going to do much without the right rounds unless they roll high. Are they shooting at the hive tyrant? Yeah, all yeah. the all the guardsmen are shooting at the hive tyrant right now. All the heavy heavy bolters you got up because you have four of them on the field. Ooh. Ooh. One, two, three, and then here's the fourth one. Oh man, that's a lot of hits. So do these guys get Righteous Fury? So four, uh, yeah. three, yeah, they, nine, yes. and Yeah, they have to roll four. to see if they land it, though. They don't right. got what you guys have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do, do mind, this. That's four hits, three hits, nine hits, four hits. Okay. Two, three, four. And then you said three additional hits. One, two, three. And then... Nine. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what was the last uh, one? Another four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so and let's have the right to shit here for right to That's 15 points of damage in total so far, not including the extra righteous furies that they got. Because they got three, four. So minus 15. Well, they have yeah, to yeah. do another two. Oh, it's minus 25, yo, not minus 15. Oh, you said minus 25 off the bat? 
Yeah, he has an armor of 30, so their pen brings it down to 25. So only th- They only have normal bolts, so they don't have anything else. Yeah. Right, Dang. but they're... Uh, so they did, uh, what did I say, 15 in total? Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, yeah, 15. But Plus they got got, another 4 additional hit chances. Yeah, they got four, uh, four Righteous Furies. Okay. And... What's that? Three... Four... Five. Okay, and then it's just one each on each one of those? Yes. Okay. No damage from any. So no more extra damage. So 15 damage in total. Yeah, that hurt it quite a bit. These are heavy bolts we're talking about. Yeah, four yeah. of them just yeah. unloaded on this yep. guy. Demangus, go. Yes, sir. <laughs> and yeah, just, six, just imagine like... They are, uh, since technically those are bolters, they have the tearing quality, don't they? Yes. They're explosive. Well, no, 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 they have the, uh, they can roll an extra d10 for each one of them. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. You're getting the damage you got there. Yeah. This is NPCs. We'll do that for special guys like you. Okay. I do the same thing as last time. Just use, uh, Hellfire, Earth Rounds, all of it. Okay. <laughs> all this shebang. You are firing into a melee now, unfortunately. Oh, so do I? Does that change the modifier then? I think it's like minus twenty. You still like, hit. It's still hit. Yeah. Still hit. Oh, okay. You can drop it to like a four point seven degree success. So, so still, hits. still all four. Five hits or oh, four. Hits. Four with the regular bolter. Yeah. Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. four. We're at uh, we're at nine nine rounds remaining. God. Roll, roll them extra d10s. We need them. Are those Hellfires or not? Yeah. yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Well, there's a nine in there, so that is one extra hit. Or damage or hit? Damage. Damage. And then, of course, uh, uh, 1d10 for that one as well. All right, cool. So. So, 17 on the two, first one. For two for the first one. one. Because it's minus 15 on everything. And no change to the next. Uh, minus 15, the first shot does 2 damage. That's 2 for the third one. Third, yeah, third one does 17, and the last one does uh, six, so that's another 6. So 5 for the fourth one. Then no change on the 19. Which is another 4, so that's 13 points of damage. Okay. Oh, wow. That's, he's hurting. I thought it's only two, four, four, and okay, so four and four hellfire. is eight, ten. And He's using the... hellfire rounds for penetration. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's quite a lot of damage. Tyron, Neil, Tyron, go. All right. Four rounds consumed, right? Uh, every damage roll, so that's five. It's still ten since apothecary did melee. Okay. I was yeah, gonna was... give you the. I was gonna give you the nine, but sure, you can make it ten. Uh, uh. That'd be nice. Yeah, let's see. It'll die before nine rounds come around. I think so. I think you guys got this. As as, as much as it's it's hurting. So nothing that I can do will even get close to penetrating this thing's armor. And I recognize that because I already fired a bolter. At it on my last turn, it did jack shit. Uh, counterpoint if you get into melee with it, you will give all of us a plus additional plus 10 bonus because we will outnumber it 3 to 1. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna, give I'm them gonna extra do that. Yeah. I'm gonna do that, so I'm gonna close the distance and I'm gonna swing at this thing with my uh, start as combat knife, even if I'm not. Uh, you should probably be using your servo arm for this. What does the servo arm do for me? 
2d10 plus 14 impact with penetration 10. Oh, shit. Oh well, I yes, need to add that. that. It's a what melee the weapon. Fuck? That thing can flip tanks. Oh. Okay, so Do it's it. called servo arm, right? What's yeah. the damage? I'm adding it to 2D my combat. 2d10 plus 14 impact with penetration 10. 2d10 plus 14. And that's type the standard is impact. One. It does more if it gets upgraded. Okay, type oh, is, yeah, uh, see. yeah, I have You, might have, you might have this with Neil Ty Tyron, you might have this kill. Alright, what's the type on it? Impact. 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 Penetration? Ten. Ten. Holy That's exactly Jesus. what you need. Yeah. Yeah, right, dude. special? What do you mean? Uh, I don't think it has any extra rules. No, it's, okay. it's just that. This is the basic And then, tool. uh, class is melee. Oh, Side side note, it can only ever hit once per turn. So you can't get swift attack. Well, you can only make one attack per turn. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, All right. so no rush of fury on, on, on these guys. Uh, All right. No, that's See. damage. That's damage you can deal against this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Definitely. He's hurting He's hurting pretty bad. He's pretty bloodied after that uh, last machine gun blast volley. Oh. What's up? Mm. Culper's fear effect. What fear effect? He already he already snapped out of it. Yeah, oh, did I, he? I did a willpower yeah, check he, and it's yeah, saved. Yeah, he already snapped out of it. That's what I'm okay. gonna have. Yeah, yeah, all he right. snapped out. Of it. You, you all snapped out of it. What's the modifier on the two hit roll? Do I get bonuses because we're outnumbering? Plus well, twenty like, because we're well, outnumbering him, and then what? Another because he's a big boy. Our plus so twenty right there. Total. We're outnumbering him three to one now, so it's yeah. Uh, that's plus forty in total. Well, it's it's plus ten for every additional person, not you yeah. Know, so thirty included. plus thirty plus twenty, like, 50, 50, plus fifty plus fifty plus fifty on two hit. Damn. Wait, what? Okay. What? Wait. Oh, okay. That's a yeah, lot. Really plus forty. Three degrees of success. Do you want to not hit damage. him? Damage. I'm just saying it's plus for every additional person. So 52 damage minus whatever armor, and then type well, 42 impact. minus 10. So you just did 22 points of damage. All right. That, you you peer, describe how you kill this motherfucker. By the way. Nice. All right. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry to Sorry. steal the kill. All right. I climb up on top of the back of this monster as it's thrashing, trying to uh, trying to throw me off. I grab it by the neck with the servo arm and start crushing it. And uh, using my using my arms, I brace myself against his shoulders and then pull up with the servo arm, ripping his head off, killing him. Ooh. <laughs> and that's how I kill him. Right. Well, yeah. Y'all helped him on that, so... Oh, yeah. So I got his approval. Yeah, so... <laughs> I can just imagine you guys oh, machine gun. Yeah, you guys all machine gunned him down. We're slashing him in melee. This thing was a monster. About to wreck house. Dead. Yeah. All right. Sweet. So, so all the all the Tyranids flee. Your guardsmen are on the ground, unconscious. They're on the ground. Uh, yeah. The dropships. Yeah. And I'm gonna. And I get we to get a sample of its DNA. That was actually part of your mission. Second objective achieved. So, an additional Ooh. hidden objective achieved. It wasn't hidden, it's in the journal. It, it was hidden. Oh, it was? It wasn't in the journal. Yeah, because our objectives was the data core and the ninjas. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. The second it. objective was the mercenaries. So, this right. was a hidden objective. Exactly. Sorry. I forgot I gave that to the other players. So, yes, hidden objective to you guys, not to the player that was the mercenary group. But, yes, you got all three objectives. Nice. Nice. Oh. Got like four three minutes to spare. Right, let me get the. Hold up. I had no idea that I could even use my servo arm in combat. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I thought I mentioned when we were in character creation that you should probably be a melee character, not a ranged one, didn't I? I don't know, but there were too many melee characters, so I decided to be yeah. ranged. But melee is, is where it's at, brother. Yeah. I don't know. Guys, be us two tacticals have been rocking it pretty good with ranged. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Plus, I'm I'm more of a uh, non-combat support role type person. So I wouldn't even have realized that I could use my. Well, no, I would have realized that because well, I've had a servo. Well, traditionally, like on tabletop and in lower melee. 
Okay, got it. Because they, you have the servo arm plus usually some kind of power uh, melee, uh, and they might have something good for a hand weapon. But yeah, they're a very close range. Combatant. Got it. Okay. They still don't want to be on oh. the front line, but they are melee guys. Second side note to that servo arm, Cobbler. Yeah. You can use that to use a reaction head too. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I'll describe to you the last little vestiges of that splinter cell here it is, they all leave. Um Okay, so you detect a sudden sound, unexpected and dreadful, like a dull, continuous, thunderous, glo uh, uh, growing, quickening closer. You're shocked to realize you soon can hear the, the coming of the Tyranid main swarm, uh, made up of thousands, thousands of running of claw feet, and uh, the clashing of numerous fanged maws of an expectation of the feast. Death has come. It is then that Deliverance sent forth the Emperor himself, that the Thunderhawk breaks the, the boiling purple cloud above you. It's dark... Dark hole pitted and scarred with acid pit pot marks. But with his engine roaring white hot and the defiance of the storm, the pilot dares not land, but the consummation skill drops the main hatch at hover, and you and your company leave aboard to safety. You glance back at the hatch draw shut to see a limitless tide of horrors beginning to roll around the tortured earth below. At last, doomed Tantalus dies beneath you. However, you escape the jaws of death. You will continue to watch another day. We say, uh, Hell yeah. Did we oh. save the space marines and the ogres? Oh, yeah. They all get, they're all with you as well. Your, okay. your com company. So, company, everyone with you. Our Our recruits for the Inquisition. Uh, Hell yeah. Our reinforcements for that penal battalion that just lost a lot of its forces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the, 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 the commissar and his guardsmen are. Are commissars and uh, guardsmen, so they're just yeah. regular forces. They'll, they'll be returned probably back to whatever regiments there that may exist. Brothers, it is not up to us where these men go. It just matters that we saved lives today. I'm sure the other space marines could care less what you just said. The emperor protects. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I only care about the objectives. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you get 500 XP for each objective, 200 XP for each secondary, and every tertiary is 50 points each. So 50 for the hidden one, um, 200 for... 50. Yeah, so it says for each additional. 50 it, for was that a, one. it was a tertiary objective, so 50 for killing the hive turret. 50 for, yeah, for, for him. Um, what did you say, 200 for secondaries? 200 for secondary objectives. So that's one 200, and then 500 for each primary? Yep. So that's another 1,000. Yep. So... Uh, 1,250 for all of that. 1,250 in total we gain? Yep, from all that. That's 4,650 for me. And then, and then experience, for, yeah, and the experience for killing the the mobs, I'll give you an additional 200 for that. And the Hive Tyrant, let me see, see how much he's worth. Let's Probably see. a lot. If it even says anything for that one. Jeez, that's a lot of experience. I mean, we just, just destroyed a Hive Tyrant as rank yeah. 1 Death Watch Space Marine, so that's, well, that's something. Uh, yeah, a uh, uh, tamed down hive, hive Tyrant. I showed you the full damage you could do. He, would was, he parried that one hit, so... That's true. He didn't even do that damage. Even if he was full power, so, he didn't do it. So because, because the Tyrant was watered down, maybe we should get less XP. He wasn't that yeah. down. No, no, no. Uh, he's probably like seventy percent power. I'd say if they're um, at you, because I did. I I, okay. I purposely didn't do all his psionic powers against you constantly, because he could do that if he wanted to. He could have feared every round if he wanted to. Yep. He could have feared you. He could have stun locked you. He could have done a bunch of stuff. Okay, so uh, so we're on the same page. How much total XP do we get this session? Well, so how much twelve fifty from the objectives. How much do we yeah, get? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you. Out? I'll give you an additional two hundred for the hive tyrant by himself. Fourteen fifty okay. total. Yep. Okay, it's one thousand eight hundred fifty. No. Yes. 
You guys are all aboard the... Uh, 50, 14, 50. So that should be, what, 16.50 in total for today's session? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, 16.50. Because that's, that's the end of the mission. That's uh, all the other XP you guys gained so far. Yeah, that makes so, sense. So if you had spent all of your XP, then you should have 5,050 from yeah. all of the sessions to currently... Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, are we should be counting the 12,000... Initial fourteen thousand XP we got. Well, that's spent. Yeah. So total spent, if we spent everything, should be eighteen thousand seven hundred and fifty. But there's there's uh, two different categories of to spend and spent. I know, but if we had spent everything, total XP is eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Yeah, Moth, you're overcomplicating mm -hmm. it. We had this discussion last time. Let's not do that again. Yeah, let's not do this. Just spend your XP. Make sure it's all. Up to that 18,000 maximum XP total. Pool. I will spend my XP on my own time. Oh, yeah. We're in the interim, anyways. I gotta go and craft yep. up the next session, or next, sorry, next three or four sessions for the next mission. Yeah, next mission. All right. Mm. Awesome. Thanks. We did, uh, yeah. we did excellent work today. That was a lot of fun. Sorry mm. for stealing mm. the kill, but we really had to take that thing down. I hope you understand that. I'm surprised we took it down with what we had. Oh, yeah. How'd you guys like how I described killing the creature? Yes. Ten, All right. Ten percent mad. Yeah, and I did nerf his damage. I, I did nerf. Yeah, I, I did nerf his wounds a little bit. So because he oh, normally okay. starts with one twenty wounds, I started oh, him off shit. like oh, yeah, yeah, I started him off. Like with, I started him off with like eighty, and then the damage oh. you guys did brought him down to sixty. So like. He was primed to just start wrecking us then, the moment he got in the melee. Yep. Right. So we're technically rank two now. Well, yep. once we spend XP, you'll get oh, to so it. So if we spend 17,000, oh, then yeah, it's rank so two. The moment you spend enough to go into a next rank, that's when you're in that next rank, and then you have that remaining XP to spend in the second rank. So what's our renown? Do we have three renown because we did three objectives, or how does that work? Or did we oh, do four objectives? We, we, we completed two primary, one secondary, and one tertiary. So that's four total I, renown. I think no. it was like tertiary. I think we only get one if we complete every three tertiaries, or something crazy like that. So then I think it's five then, because it, what was it? Two for every primary and one for every secondary. I think something like that, yeah. But uh, because of our oath, we get an additional plus one. So right. six oh, yeah. total? We get plus one per objective. So six so, total. Uh, no, it should be eight then. Eight total renown. Eight Damn. total. Okay. Yeah, GM, because two you for every primary, one for every secondary, and then one for every objective. GM, are you allowing oh. eight renown to all of us? So that seems like a little bit more than we bargained for. Well the fact that we survived the Tyranid consuming the planet. Well, I, think I think that's something. Okay. Well, because if I remember right, it was uh, every primary objective was two renown. So four. And every secondary was one. So we have five. five. And then because of the oath we took, that provides an additional point of renown for every objective we complete. Ah, so we get eight total. So Got we it. have eight total. So the tertiary objective wasn't even a blip on our radar because we need three of those, right? Correct. So yes. one renown? Okay, so yeah. we get eight total. That's right. Sweet. Where do we record renown on our... Uh, team? it's under characteristics and skills and next to rank. It's next to rank. Right below specialty and above power armor history. Yep. Ah, I see it. Thank you. So we're at rank one, renown eight, and then once we spend enough XP, we'll be rank two. Correct. I'm, ass I'm assuming you're having Majos once he's fully healed to make a sense of yes. well, I mean, clearly yes we want to uh, become cured from this horrible toxin <laughs> okay you are Detroit, cured become oh. cured you're all cured like <sighs> no I want to suffer for the rest of my days you know, oh, AI, is, stuff. AI has been banned and is heretical so none of that ha have none of that Detroit no, no AI no AI <laughs> The Omnissiah begs to differ, brother. Yeah, machine... Uh, Omnissiah would agree. That, that's not how machine spirits work, though. Oh, okay. Literally every computer is organic core. 
Got it. Literally every one of them. Oh, really? Even the even the servo skulls and the servitors, those are actual brains in those skulls still working. Yeah, they're and they brains. remember their lives. So what about as we speak, talking to the spirits, the machines? It's a person. Yeah. Um, well, I imagine do. being that's pretty devoted to a computer, man. Imagine you getting your brain removed, stuck in your PC. Mm-hmm. That'd be that'd be yeah. your life. You you now run that PC. You are the PC. Actually, do you guys yeah. know that we can actually we have the ability to make bionic computers today. Yep. It's just not consumed. It's not fully out yet since we're trying to figure out the kinks. You mean biological computers? Biocomputers, yeah. Yeah. Bio, a biocomputer is a little bit different than, you know, slapping somebody's brain in a computer and using that. <laughs> so I guess yeah, it is bionic. What, what I'm trying to say is we're using nerve endings and nerves to build biocomputers in real life. Yeah, we're like I think there's well, like, they're still in the prototype stages though. Yeah, yeah, they're, we're still figuring it out, but there's like but some have, there's a lot of promises like in there. Yeah, there's like some rats or whatever, and we took rat brains and put them in. Saw that. Thing. Uh, yeah, uh, a little. That's RC fucking car. creepy, man. When do you that's think about it? It is. That's what it'd be like for 40k. It's like, ah, oh, it's 40k universe, but we live in it. Yep, grim dark. All well, right. it would be like like if all our computer guys who build computers were to go away, and none of us would know how to build computers. Therefore, it would be 40k. They'd be almost like holy relics. Yep. yep. Well, at least we'd okay, still know how to time, maintain man. them in 40k. We just wouldn't know how to make new ones. Right. 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 We we know what we need to feed the brains to keep it alive, and not make new brains. So I have a question then. Do like bolter guns have computers in them? Because or brains? So when he was talking about the machine spirit, that, I think that was a little wrong because uh, like a tank wouldn't have a brain in it. It's anything that's computer or computational would effectively be just somebody's brain. Okay. But they do yeah, have they on- non-AI computers. For example, our computers now are still just computers because there is right. code. There is still code being run on computers. Um. It's just servitors that have the brain in them. Everything yeah, else sorry. is generally not going to have a brain in it. And it's it doesn't just have a, a brain computer. entirely, but it still has organic components. I mean, it might so have, right, but there's no a standard AI bolter in wouldn't, but a bolter with select yeah, AI is completely something. It's like button. Dune. Got it. Yeah, it's like Dune. AI is completely banned. They, they, the, the, the men of iron. Did they make AIs, that. but the AIs eventually rebelled, started an entire civil war, and they nuked them into the oblivion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That'd be yeah. And they won, and we're like, yeah, no, we're not doing that again. They're out on their band forever. Got it. Yep. And that's the Empire thing, or...? Yes, that's the Empire. That's that the was Imperium. pre-Empire. That was like... Uh, no, no, that was, that was, was Empire. It was like the year 10,000 or something. Yeah, but the Emperor was still in charge, I think. Alive. Well, according Alive. to the Emperor's lore that he's an immortal guy that's been around since the dawn of humanity, yes. Okay, well, I mean, since he was the Emperor... Because uh, for Did most of the that emperor, time, no, the emperor only came to power in 30k. Okay, yeah, in 30k. 10k was the AI wars. Was it? Okay. Damn, all this fucking yeah. war. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's mountains high. Yeah. yeah. And they're known and as Iron Man. were just regular tanks back then. Yeah, men of, yeah, Iron Man or Men of Iron or whatever. The war is like a mile wide and ten miles deep. Ah, it's fun though. Sorry, forty thousand miles, miles deep. deep. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Great minds think I, alike, moth, but fools rarely differ. Yeah, I, I think I was right. You guys are breaking point too. There, I, I should have brought that guy in a little later. I think I th- wave ten, wave five. I should have brought him in maybe. Ooh, the hive tiger. No, it was. I think it was all yeah. right. I think the yeah. way you brought him. I think it was all right. If we had yeah, to have dealt okay. with all the other stuff before that guy, we would have burned through all of our. Uh, Fate. And then we just wouldn't have damaged him. Like, all my special ammunition would have been gone. I wouldn't have been able to hurt him at all. Yeah, that's true. I still I, have, I eight, rounds. To... I still have uh, eight rounds of help fire left. Nice. Yeah, yeah I was but... trying to make it challenging, but not impossible. See, what, what you did when you said, oh, yeah, if you kill the hive tyrant, like, you win this that's... entire battle, like, that, that do, changed that's in the, the whole dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the book. Well, right. if, you okay. your, if you know your 40k lore, you know to kill the uh, the synapsis creatures first. 
Yeah. yeah. Another thing is that we have mentioned that before during this uh, couple of sessions ago. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I was uh, foreshadowing what you guys are going to be fighting at the end. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> run. You fight You fight a lot of trash mobs. Yeah, you fight a boss at the end. Carn effects that we fought instead of a hive tyrant. Please, no. <laughs> what the fuck is a carn effect? I have tyrants far worse though? than a carn effects. Carn effects is a uh, ultralist, but actual yeah. one. Got it. Now, do keep this in mind, though. A hive tyrant is basically as tall as a carn effects. It's, a, it's effectively yeah. a queen of blades. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just at the same size as a Carnifex. Or an Ultralisk. I remember Dan caught the VOD of the last session, and he uh, was in my DMs about it. He was like, fucking StarCraft nerds, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> because you were discussing StarCraft 1, like all of hey, a sudden, just hey. in the middle. Yeah, I the know. The creators of the Zerg were the same people who pretty much made... The Tyranids. Hey, uh, here's here's a fun factoid for you. The Zerg was was originally going to be uh, spelled Z U. No, they were originally going to be spelled Z U R G, but they were afraid that uh, with Toy Story coming out, like the main antagonist to Buzz Lightyear was Zerg, so they changed it to Z E R G instead of Z U. Oh. There's a tiny mm. bit of lore for you. Well, not lore, but... Even uh, tiny, a bit of lore for you. StarCraft was originally supposed to be a Warhammer 40k game. Is it really? That's, they split. That's why Blizzard split. Or the creators of Blizzard yeah. split from Games Workshop because Games Workshop wouldn't let them make a computer game. Yeah. Cool. And that's why Blizzard exists. Yeah. I like yeah. how uh, Artanis says, if you click on him enough times, like he'll say, this isn't just Warcraft in space. That's in the original StarCraft, when you get Artanis as a scout, before nice. he became the whatever the fuck in StarCraft 2. So that's what Carnifex, by the way. Oh, the yeah. Book? It's huge. Massive. We would have had trouble beating it. He's also a range boy, too. Oh, boy. So the... The guy you fought was a melee boy. His only range was his uh, little, his fear thing, and he has that impact shrieking thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're I think we're good. What do you guys think? Uh, I think we're good too. Yeah. At the right. end of the end of the session, I got yeah. literally no, no more content for you today. Yeah. All right, well, that was a hell of a lot of fun. I will see you all next week, and this session will yep. be up on YouTube shortly. Yep, I'll, yeah, I'll let you know if I need another week to generate you guys' content or anything. But Sweet. I should be able to. Nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It took me about uh, a couple days to get all these maps up for this campaign. Do the same. Sweet. Nice. Uh, it's just map generation. Uh, monsters are pretty easy to make. Mm-hmm. All right. Excellent. Then I will uh, see y'all next time. Likewise. Same. Yeah. See ya.